Watch Here he comes. Here's Dan. Football. Find a link at StarRock.media or search Thanks, and Dan. subscribe to StarRock Media on YouTube. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. We got the tape Cavalier if we need it. Football yeah. on 103.9 WLPL. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to a season like no other of LP Cavalier Football on 103.9 WLPL AM 1220. Of course, uh, urge you to download the app and listen to us wherever you are around the world. And a new edition this year, you can also watch the games on the StarveRock.media YouTube channel with uh, video being a big part of high school sports nowadays. Joining me is uh, Brandon Lachance. And Brandon, last time we did a, a sporting event on the radio here on 103.9 WLPO would have been, I think, June of 2019. And uh, it was a state title winner with the Hall of Baseball Championship. So not to put any pressure on ourselves, I guess, Brandon, but uh, you know, let's see if we can carry that luck over to uh, football with the LP Cavaliers against the Rochelle Hubs. And uh, it is the season opener. It's a nice day. It's windy, but, boy, you can't argue with uh, the temperature-wise. Hopefully the rain stays away, and we got some turf here at Howard Fellows. I don't think it was luck. I think we're magic together, and we're going to do that LP football just the way we did <laughs> Hall Baseball. I think we helped them get that state championship, so maybe we can help LP start the season off with a big win against Rochelle. Yeah, and LP's coming off. Obviously, it's it's weird because it normally would have been in the fall, so you have to go back all the way to 2019. But remember, the Cavaliers ended a long playoff drought, had a great season at 5-4, and four, went on the road, played a state title team. Rochester gave them everything they wanted and more for the first half. Rochester, I think, eventually wore down the Cavs, but uh, Cavaliers returned some talent from that playoff team. Uh, Drake Weber, Tyler Hartman, who's uh, going to be a name to watch, obviously, at quarterback, who had a heck of a year, and now it is their senior year, and in fact, the coin toss going on, and the two captains, Drake Weber and Tyler Hartman, so it'll be interesting to see. It's, it's just a different vibe, you know. It's not Friday night. It's a Saturday game. Uh, only five games on the schedule, but it's exciting to have football back regardless. I remember talking to Tyler Hartman after the playoff game, and I remember talking to Jose Medina, and they were so happy. They were ready to get the next year going. Unfortunately, got yeah. pushed, COVID-19. Affecting all of us, definitely affecting high school sports, and I can tell just watching the warm-ups, what they're doing on the field, they're ready to go. They want to play some football. Yeah, and uh, it's a nice crowd here. Obviously, crowd limitations for both Rochelle and LP, even at a big stadium like Howard Fellows. They've done a nice job and uh, spread them out. We're actually on the uh, north side of Howard Fellows, and it kind of looks like where they, the visiting fans are going to be situated on the north side, kind of near the north end zone here at Howard Fellows, and uh, the big red and green contingent taking up more of the well, middle of the field everyone here. Everyone and this is basically, it's senior day. They've had, uh, they honored the football seniors the cheerleaders and so forth before the game so it's nice to get that in unfortunately you just never know from week to week about games so I, I, I applaud them for taking the opportunity right away to honor the seniors and there are quite a few on this LP roster. Jeremy Aiken, Brandon Lachance here, LP Rochelle we're a few minutes away from kickoff and uh, we're going to take a short break and you're going to hear our first pregame interview of the year with LP head coach Jose Medina and uh, you're listening to Cavalier Football on 103.9 WLPO coming up in moments LP and the Rochelle Hubs on 1039 WLPO from historic Howard Fellow Stadium. Get the little. Is easy. We do it all the time. We switch on the lights, we switch TV channels, some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, State Farm agent Jessica Strauch, right here in Peru, Entering can switch you over now. so you can start saving today. Marcy and her Calvary. team are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Jessica Led Strauch, it's easy to switch and save. This is Jessica Strauch. Give me a call. When you want the real deal, like the a good Marcy neighbor, Cavaliers State Farm is to rehearsal this February after nearly 16 months apart. The LP Cavalier pregame is show continues now with our coach's interview. Coast with head coach Jose Medina like and uh, first off coach obviously and long time no talk it's been quite the off season of really an off season uh, like no other uh, talk about um, you know as an LP football coach the last time you guys played was months over a year ago just talk about this uh, dealing with the weight and an unprecedented time for high school football yeah, definitely I, I agree it's, it, it's a t it was a tough time but you know, I think uh, we, we did our best to do to get our kids in to work out to just stay, stay uh, keep football on their minds. And uh, you know, there's we had some ups and we had some downs, we had some shutdowns. We you know we started back up, but you know, uh, 
knock on wood, those kids have, you know, have continued to fight through it and uh, have been here for, for the most of the, for, for the majority of the time too. So, yeah, let's talk about uh, you know last week. You were supposed to have an opener. Uh, it was uh, canceled. Talk about the disappointment. I'm sure, like you said, you guys were high. Everybody's ready to go. We're finally getting football, and then it's something you you know it's out of your control. But it is what it is. A lot of schools are dealing with it, yeah. but still disappointed. It, very much so. You know, we'd like to just try and get out there, get that first game in there. Um, but yeah, it was a uh, it was a big disappointment. But at the same time, hey, the kids kind of bounce back from it. They're ready to go this week, and uh, you know, I think as a coaching staff, we're ready to go as well just to see what these kids can do um, you know, against a, a good team in Rochelle. Yeah, let's talk about uh, tonight's opponent in Rochelle. Obviously, has a game under their belt. They played, obviously, a very good Morris team last week. Uh, what did you see in the hubs if you were able to see some of the film? Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to exchange any film, but uh, you know, you got you got some glimpses uh, from the uh, from the nice live stream stuff that you got, but other than that, I mean, you know, Rochelle is Rochelle. They're going to come and, and, and go their double tight formations, wing formations and things like that, they will, you know, they're going to want to try and run the ball on you. And, uh, you know, if we can do, if we can do a pretty good job of stop, uh, of doing a, uh, uh, stopping them, uh, defensively, you know, they, they have to pass the ball and that's something that they don't want to do. So, um, yeah, I, I think as, as long as we come out and, uh, defensively and stop, stop the run and make them pass, we should be all right. Uh, offensively, we're going to, we're going to do what we can and, and, and pound the ball as, as, you know, we want to try and, and run as, as best as we can and, and do what we have to do and score score points. How are the numbers wise this year? It's a, obviously it's a weird season. You got you got a lot of kids that play you know multiple sports. They're kind of put in tough situations now yeah. with the quick turnaround. Uh, numbers wise, how is it? You know we got we got uh, forty on our roster. Uh, we're 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 going to be tight this week because we we still have some kids that didn't make the the, the twelve practice minimum. Um, so you know those. We, we we got a good group of guys uh, ready to roll, and uh, they're just, like I said, they're excited to uh, to get out there and, and just show what they have what they've done for the last uh, couple months. Talk about uh, some returning names, uh, Jose. I know we got to think a ways back since there was that last football game, a playoff game, by the way, in Rochester. But uh, who are some of the returnees that uh, you're going to rely on this season? Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, you know, offensively, you got Tyler Hartman, Drake Weber, Carson Merwicki. You know, off the line guy. You know, these guys are, are, are have been there. Reed Robiza, you know, got some reps in there last year. So definitely, Carlos Larios is gonna is gonna be. Uh, he's gonna have to sit on the sideline this week, but uh, you know, he's he'll be ready to go next week. Um, yeah, I mean, Trayvon Hunter, offensively. Um, you know, we, Sean Sean Whitfield is gonna be taking some some snaps and maybe some you know playing on the offensive side as well. Uh, you got Reese Kurtz that's coming back as well too, as uh, offensively, defensively. I mean, you've got. Well, <laughs> We got a lot of young guys there at that position. You know, we graduated a lot, a lot of good seniors last year uh, on the defensive side, but you know, we got a, a lot of guys that are going to step up this year. Um, you know, Levi Reed is, is played some played some for us last year. Um, you know, Weston Wenzel uh, as well. But yeah, definitely a lot of young guys uh, on the defensive side. Um, you know, you, and definitely you got uh, you know Trayvon Hunter and Sean Whitfield that played some safety uh, played safety for us last year. So. so a lot of young guys, but uh, they're eager to, uh, to to get out there and, and, and do uh, do their best to shut down Rochelle. And uh, let's talk about uh, LaSalle Body and Fender, by the way, bringing you the injury status update uh, this year and this week, and hopefully this is uh, pretty limited <laughs> from week to week. Um, you mentioned it's not really at this point so much about injuries. It's just the meeting the practice limits, yeah. so you will be without some kids at least in week one yeah, or definitely. week two, I guess. Yeah, now. definitely. We'll be we'll be missing about you know roughly about ten guys, ten to fifteen guys. But uh, it is what it is, and we'll, we'll, you know we're just gonna you know do what uh, do do what we can with our the guys that we have out there, and uh, you know they'll, they'll they'll be ready to roll. They'll be ready to roll. The final thing, coach, I've kind of buried the lead here. Uh, we're not far from the stadium, and tell me about how exciting it's going to be to play the first ever game on turf at, at a, you know one of the more historic, if not the most historic stadiums in the state of Illinois. Yeah, it's going to be a big, big change. I mean, I've been here for 17 years, and uh, in those 17 years, we've had grass, and you know, just being out there uh, practicing and just being out there and running with the, you know, and just watching the kids enjoy the enjoy the turf out there. Yeah, it's going to be great to to get out there and actually play a, a game on that turf. This uh, this year, and uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, it, it, it's exciting for, for, for the community, it's exciting for the the, the uh, Cavalier Nation as well, and you know, we're just ready to roll. All right, we'll look forward to this uh, season, and uh, 
you know, it is a shorter season, but it's still great to have high school football back, and we're going to have some Saturday games and some Friday li- Friday night lights. It's going to be, I guess, in a way, a season like never before. I agree. It's going to be it's going to be a, a crazy season, but hey, at least we got the at least we got some time for the kids to come and compete and have some fun and enjoy their senior year. And as long as you know things things work out well, we got you know five more games left. All right. Once again, as LP head coach Jose Medina. All right, and we are back. want to thank uh, Coach Jose Medina there. And uh, during that interview, gave us the LaSalle Body and Fender injury status update. When your car gets banged up, call LaSalle Body and Fender. You can, all, uh, you can also call them for 24-hour towing, 815-223-0598. And uh, the LP Cavaliers, by the way, won today's coin toss, and they will kick off. And so the Cavaliers on your uh, good old radio dial will be going from south to north as Drake Weber back to kick it off. Uh, by the way, the coin toss today brought to you by Hometown National Bank. It is the uh, coin toss brought to you by the bank in Ladd and Hennepin. You won't get tossed upside down with the mortgage from Hometown National Bank. So uh, we are set for football. The Cavaliers wearing their home green unis with the red trim, white numbers, and Rochelle with their purple unis. Of course, on the road with uh, the white jerseys and the purple helmets with the big R on the helmets. LP knocked off Rochelle last year, and that gave them actually uh, one of their five wins to make them playoff eligible. So the Hub's always a very solid football program year in, year out. Uh, We mentioned they have one game under their belt. They lost last week to uh, Always Tough and now 2-0 Morris Redskins team. So we'll see. Uh, It's probably nice to have that game, uh, real game action under your belt. So LP, if they get off to a little slow start, you, can, you can't blame them. It's been a long time since these kids have played in a football game, but we are set. Brandon, let's let's get it going. Let's do this. And LaSalle, Peru is going to have to be physical from the get-go. Rochelle, every single year, they're just a big physical team, and that's how they play football. Yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of physical teams in this conference. Uh, Morris is an I bet that light game last week with Morris and Rochelle for an opener was quite the knockdown drag out uh, uh, fight and we are ready now for our Eureka Savings Bank opening kickoff. Drake Weber with the kick, and it is angling towards out of bounds, and uh, it'll be a penalty. So Drake's opening kickoff of the season does go out of bounds. Uh, he had his share of touchbacks a year ago, and uh, the wind will play a factor. The uh, wind blowing quite a bit here. Looks like it's almost directly out of the south, uh, so going uh, south to north. Neither one of these teams, though, will air it out too often, so that, that won't impact the uh, the passing games really too much from either LP or Rochelle. And again, that kickoff was brought to you by Eureka Savings Bank. Since 1885, Eureka Savings Bank has been proud to be a part of this community, helping people just like you. Eureka Savings Bank member FDIC. And here we go. Hand off to the second man through for the hubs. The ball carriers, Owen Angel. A 5'11 junior, and maybe a couple on that play. Byron Verdun gets the tackle. He's a uh, 6'1 junior, a linebacker, wearing number 14. Well, they give him two yards on that carry, second down and eight. Like I said, big and physical, and they're just going to try to push it down your throat. They're already trying to do that, first play. Josh Lloyd is the Rochelle running back. He, He goes six feet tall. He's a junior. One receiver set to give it to the fullback, and he goes just right up the middle. As Brandon mentioned, nothing fancy about it. That handoff, Ben Harvey. Harvey with the carry. He's been around a while. I recognize that name. Ben Harvey's a pretty good it's running back. It's about an eight-year senior. It seems <laughs> like he's been here a while. Now, maybe he had an older brother, but uh, that name does ring a bell. I don't know if he had a redshirt year or two in high school. Uh, that tackle was given to Weston Wenzel. And that'll set up a third and seven, and I think this is a key for teams like LP and Rochelle. Defensively, you want to force teams like LP and Rochelle in a third and long because they'd rather just run the ball. It's they're like Geneseo, it. you know. Yeah, Here's an option, and not much there. A heck of a tackle. Trayvon Hunter with the speed, and he takes down the Rochelle they ball carrier. They tried to go on the outside, and LP read it from the get-go and just got him. Yeah, they ran an option on a third down and long, and the Cavaliers were not fooled. And they bring him down for a loss right in front of the Rochelle bench, a loss of two, Trayvon Hunter with the TFL. And back to return this punt for LP will be Sean Whitfield. He showed glimpses of 
big time playability last year as a returner. So we'll see what Sean has for the opening return of this game. No, oh, it kicked right into the wind. Straight up and down. Straight up in the wind. It takes a Cavalier bounce on this turf too. That's gonna be, what, a gain of about one or two yards on the, on the net. 39? Yeah, the, 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 the line of scrimmage. Yeah, the line of scrimmage, Brandon, was the 36, so they get, gained two yards on that punt. And the wind is now starting to howl, so it's gonna be an adventure. If you're going that direction and you try to <laughs> kick, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, they were kicking into the wind, the south wind. So here come the Cavaliers. One of the top quarterbacks around, Tyler Hartman back under center for the Cavaliers. In motion is Hunter. They give it to the first man through, and he's still turning, still going. Tough to bring down was Matt Carrico. We just said Rochelle was physical. That was a physical run. Just Carico pounded his way up there. Yeah, and he's, uh, of course, Carlos Larios, who was one of the top running backs for LP last year, sitting out this one. You heard Coach Medina mention Carlos should be back in week two. That's a gain of six on first down. Harmon under center, Hunter goes in motion. They go right back to Carrico, and he's got a first down off right tackle. So two straight runs, nothing fancy for the Cavaliers offensively. And they move it down to the Rochelle 28. That's a gain of about three. Chains moves, first down and 10 Cavs at the Hub 28. We're just underway, about three minutes into this one. LP defense forcing a quick three and out of Rochelle. And the Cavaliers marching down the field, first and 10 at the Hub 28 yard line. Tyler Hartman goes back under center. And another handoff, and it's Carrico inside the 25. That's Wilder Markham, close to the 24. Give him four on that on that carry. It's powerful running right up the middle, not yeah. doing anything fancy. Second, uh, giving the Rochelle a little taste of their own style of football here. Six for the Cavaliers from the Rochelle, 24 yard line. Second and six at the hub, 24. Split out wide left, Nolan Hamilton. He's a returning uh, receiver. And split out wide right, a returning receiver in Reese Kurtz. Hartman, looks like kind of a broken play there. Looks like a fumble, but I yeah. think he grabbed it before it even hit the ground. And Tyler made something out of nothing, got it down to the 20. Gain of four, it'll be third down and two. So just like that, the Cavaliers in the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. Illinois Valley Credit Union now offering Visa cards with interest rates as low as 9.9%. Contact IVCU today for all the details. Third and two, LP at the 20 of Rochelle. Eight minutes to go here in this first quarter. Kurtz and Hamilton split out as receivers. Hartman under center. And I think Rochelle jumped on the hard count from Tyler Hartman. Looked like 77 and 45. Yeah. Just both hopped. So that'll be a first down for the Cavs. First down for the Cavaliers from the 15-yard line. First penalty of the game. Well, there was a penalty on the Cavalier kickoff. That one is a big one because it sets up LP with a first and 10 at the Rochelle 15-yard line. Hartman back under center. And he hands it off to Carrico. Not a lot that time. Hit first by number seven, Harvey. Maybe a yard off right tackle for Carrico. Matt, a 5'9 junior. Second and, nine. and I saw Rochelle number 45, Ethan Elbers, pat his chest like, oh, it was my bad. It was my fault. <laughs> I jumped all sides. That's another name, Albers. They seem to seemingly have an Albers every year on Rochelle. Harvey and Albers. Every year. Yeah. So, of course, other schools probably say that with Hartman. Why is there a Hartman <laughs> every year at LP? And Tyler's back to pass, and he's in trouble and will be sacked. Back of the 24-yard line, a loss of five. For Rochelle, 66, Noah Messer picking up the sack. He, yeah. got, he got through that line fast. Yeah, Tyler did not have much time at all to throw, so the Cavaliers look to attempt their first pass of the year, and it goes for a big loss of eight yards. And now it'll be the ball spotted at the 24. The first down marker is at the five, so third down and almost 19 for LP. Now they do have a great kicker in Drake Weber and at this side of the field they have the wind at their back if they were to try to attempt a field goal here. Third and 19, Hartman under center. Tyler gonna keep it, he's at the 20. Gets inside to about the 18 yard line so gets around six yards back. And I think they're gonna attempt a field goal here. They have a, quite a bit of change of personnel. 
Weber, yeah, Drake is setting up. Going to the north direction, I would kick it too. Yeah. Uh, the wind is going to help it. And he's got plenty of leg even without the wind. A dynamic athlete. News Tribune basketball player yeah. of the year, 1,000-point scorer through his career. He can do anything. So it's going to be a 35-yarder from the right hash mark. Drake Weber with a field goal attempt. Snap is good. The hold is down. The kick is up, and it is good. And the field goal is good. 35-yard field goal by Drake Weber. Cavaliers, three, the Rochelle Hub, zero. So if you had it as the first points of the year being a 35-yard field goal, congratulations. You probably also had Loyola and Oregon State playing in your bracket. <laughs> the chances of that happening. But Cavaliers are on the board first with a 35-yard field goal from Drake Weber after the defense forced a uh, quick three and out. And by the way, that was a uh, field goal brought to you by Financial Plus. They belong to you, and that's the plus at Financial Plus Credit Union in Peru, Ottawa, Mendota, Morris, and Diamond. So early on at 546 of the first quarter, the Cavaliers lead the Hubs uh, three to nothing. Some other games going on today, and we'll keep an eye out. I know Ottawa is hosting Sycamore in the uh, Interstate 8. Bureau Valley's got Sterling Newman and uh, Fieldcrest. The Knights are in action against DMAC today, so some other Saturday games we'll Watch on uh, Twitter, the Twitterverse, and see if we can get some updates as the day goes along. And Those are some pretty good games, too. Yeah, some real good matchups. Drake Weber with the kick, and let's see if Drake can boom this one through. Now he does a squib kick this time and keeps it out of the wind, and it's a darn good kick. The ball is live inside the five, and he breaks one tackle and doesn't break the second. Ball comes out late. Sean Whitfield with the tackle. Rochelle's going to have terrible starting field position all the way down to their own eight-yard line. So that was a very effective kick. The ball was bouncing around on this turf. Back in the grass days, it might have just deadened right away. <laughs> with the wind and the right. conditions that they're playing, LaSalle Peru actually got the good part of the field, yeah. and they're taking full advantage of it. So the Cavaliers definitely are with the field goal and a very effective kickoff there by Drake Weber. The Hubs have 92 yards to go to their end zone. So second offensive possession for the Rochelle Hubs and Josh Lloyd at quarterback. He hands it off to Harvey off right tackle and he gets out to about the 10 yard line. He was tripped up in the backfield but lunged forward. Reed Robiza will get credit with the tackle. He's a two way player on the offense and defensive line a returning player for the Cavaliers. Got to love that about high school football. Just do everything. It's a beautiful thing. It is, yeah, playing two ways. Now, I know some coaches, if they have their their choice, they would love to have uh, enough players and talent just to have everybody playing one way, but if there are players that are really good playing both ways, you might as well get them in there. There's the jet sweep, and it is read beautifully. By Byron Verdun with the tackle. He was uh, helped out in the by, by Levi the Reed. Verdun. Reed and Verdun uh, read that jet sweep, and it'll go as a big loss. Loss of about four, Brandon. So it'll be, and here you go again. You're putting a team that wants to run the ball in a third and long situation. Not only that, but they're staring right in the with the end zone behind them at the uh, six-yard line. So I wouldn't think Rochelle would do anything too fancy here. This Cavalier defense came to play. They're yeah. reading the sweeps. They're reading the line. They're knowing where they're trying to go in the gaps, and they're closing everything. Yeah, Rochelle hasn't got anything going at all on their second drive of the afternoon. They go in a shotgun. They're going to pass. He's in the end zone. Oh, man, was that dangerous. That was almost a sack for a safety and almost an interception. Yeah. Rochelle, a great defensive play by the Cavaliers. Luke Murtis had pressure on the quarterback. He just tossed it. And the running back, Harvey, could not come up with it, but there was uh, plenty of traffic. Fourth and 12 for Rochelle. Probably the best possible thing for Rochelle was that ball went down incomplete because, like Brandon said, could have either been a safety or even a pick six for LP very easily. It looked like it was going to be a pick. They grabbed it at the same time, but as their hands hit it, it hit the ground. Now here could be an adventure. Here is another punt into the wind, and he is standing in his own end zone is their quarterback, Josh Lloyd. And we got here the Rochelle coach is going to call a timeout. 4.08 to go here in the first quarter. We'll keep it here. It's LP3, Rochelle nothing. 
Maybe they're, maybe they're calling a timeout hoping that the wind will die down in the next minute or so to get this punt off. But, uh, yeah, the wind has been a factor here early on. And 3 nothing Cavaliers. And across the way, the LP band is where the normally the visiting team would have their fans. And then the LP cheerleaders are sitting where a lot of times maybe the student section of the visiting uh, team would be. And so everything's a little different this year. And again, the fans are spread out pretty good here on the, uh, I guess it'd be the east side of Howard Fellows Stadium. It's different, but the environment is still the same. Yes. They're here to watch football. They're here to cheer on LP Cavaliers. And you can tell the same love for the school and the football team is here. We do have some folks. I know there's one guy up on the hilltop with the orange hat. If he sees me, oh, he turned his head. I was going to wave at him across the way uh, watching in. And there's some crowd above us, Brandon, looking at you know where the uh, practice field track is at the high school, uh, watching through. Obviously, there's very limited tickets. You pretty much have to be a relative of a, a player or a cheerleader or a band member to get in. So that's why what we do here at WLPO with the radio and video broadcast even more important because we can bring the action to you during this season. So here's the punt. It is away, and not bad, really. He's going to bounce at about the 30 and take a Rochelle bounce this time, and they'll deaden it at the 35. So much better punt if you're Rochelle than the first one, to say the least. But still, great starting field position on a drive for the Cavaliers. Definitely. Rochelle looked like they were going to try a passing play, try to get the first down. Rochelle coach Kyle Kissick calls a timeout like, hey, maybe we should yeah. change that up. Let's punt. And has his quarterback punt. It was looked like a different kicker. Yeah, so the punt goes out to the 35. That one was well, close to about 30 yards, net yards, after the two-yard punt from before. 3.59 to go in the first. Here come the Cavaliers up 3-0. Tyler Hartman under center. Whitfield in motion. And looks like maybe some movement. Could be a legal motion or a false start in the Cavaliers. It is a false start. So five-yard mark off. The Cavaliers will now have it first and 15 at the Rochelle 40-yard line. Next week, we're on the road. It'll be another Saturday game. Cavaliers will be in Plano facing the Reapers. Two road games, and uh, there'll be two home games after this one. No postseason for football. First and 15. Hartman back under center for the Cavs. Tyler going to run the option. Pitch it to Whitfield. Sean's got some running room now. It's closed up. Breaks a tackle. Great running by Whitfield. He broke two tackles to get it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28-yard line, gain of about 12. So they get that penalty yardage back plus more. That's always a good feeling. Yeah. Did a little goof up. Well, let's let's make it positive the next <laughs> go around. And that's good for the kids' momentum and you know their self-confidence knowing they can do things like that. Yeah, it was a great option pitch. Hartman, Tyler waited really for the last possible second to pitch it before he got uh, taken down by a hub defender. And a 13-yard gain there. Second down and a short three for the Cavs at the Hubs 28-yard line. Hartman hands it off. First man through. It's a first down for the Cavaliers. Carico it was Carrico. Matt Carrico right up the gut and gets it down to the Rochelle 24-yard line. Gain of four. Clock stops as they reset the chains. Carrico has been uh, the workhorse so far for the Cavaliers. Out of the fullback position. He's got five carries for yeah. about 20 yards. He'll take that. Four yards a clip from your short yardage guy. Whitfield goes in motion. Hartman gets it back to Carrico, and he's inside the 20 following his big guys up front and gets it down to around the 18-yard line. He doesn't look like a big bruising no. kind of back, but that is exactly the game that he's playing right now. Yeah, he is not a typical fullback. Neither is Carlos Larios, who should be back next week, but uh, they're hard runners. Oh, do we have a penalty? Yep, false start against LP. So oh, well, that back. wiped that out. I didn't see the flags there. I missed that one. Brings it back to the Rochelle 29-yard line. So we'll scratch that run by Carrico. What well, well, would have been a second down and about four is now a first and 15. Those penalties will kill you every time. Yeah, every and the Cavaliers time. have had two uh, false start penalties. Again, Rochelle's had a game under their belt to try to work out that kind of thing. This is LP's first game of the season. 
Hartman hands it off, and big run by Carrico right back up the middle and gets it down to the 19-yard line. But then again, you make a mistake, and then you come back with something positive. So they're learning off it and keep going. Yeah, they got all that yardage back and more. And the Cavaliers right back in the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. It'll be a third down, though. It is four down territory. Third and five for the Cavaliers at the Hub's 19-yard line. Down under two minutes to go here in this first quarter. Hartman hands it off again to Carrico, and he's down to about the 15, which will be a yard and a half, almost two yards short of the first down. So the Cavaliers at this point know they have a good shot at three, but I think they're going to go for it. Fourth and two inside the 16-yard line of Rochelle. And with the way the Cavaliers have been running success successfully early on, why not go for it here? And maybe you see a Tyler Hartman hard count as well. Try to get a, a Rochelle player jumping off sides like earlier. Because they have been jumping. Yeah. There's been a couple times where they moved but not quite. Like he, They oh, just did it right there. He, but they were able to stay on their side of the ball. Yeah, Tyler's trying. And here we go. He pitch play to Carrico. Oh, he stopped. So instead of running up the middle, they pitched it to Carrico. And that was a name that we've been saying all day yeah. for the running side, Ben Harvey for yeah. Rochelle. He's been everywhere. I, every time I hear the PA announcer mention Harvey with a tackle. So the Cavaliers tried to change it up a little bit, go away from the bread and butter, and it did not pay off as Rochelle makes the stop on a fourth down. So 3 nothing LP, 105 left to go in the first. And the Hubs back on offense. And they give it to the second man off left tackle. He's got a pretty big hole. And Trayvon Hunter with the tackle. He was joined by Sean Whitfield, the ball carrier. The carrier Eric Brisseno, number two. It's a gain of about seven or so. Yeah, seven yards. Seven yards. That's probably Rochelle's biggest play of the game here so far, I think, yardage-wise. That is. This is their third possession of the afternoon. First two have ended in punts. This may be the last play of the first quarter. 30 that, seconds and counting. Before that play, they actually had negative one yard. So now they're in positive yards for the game. There's Harvey off left tackle. And depending on where they spot him, looks like he has enough for a first down. Harvey with the carry. He Next needed three, and that's about what he got. Weber. Drake Weber with the tackle. A first down for Rochelle from their own. So they stop the clock to move the chains. Referee saying run the clock. All right, here we go. We'll see if they snap it or not. It doesn't look like the Rochelle coach is in any hurry. No. Quarter's <laughs> over. <laughs> and they're just over there chit-chatting. They're ready to get to get the wind at their backs, I think, for a quarter. They're done with this. Yep, he's telling them to hold on. So we'll take a break as well. We've played one quarter of football here at Howard Fellow Stadium. And uh, so far, the Cavaliers lead thanks to the leg of Drake Weber, a 35-yard field goal. Second quarter coming up. Rochelle will have the football on your home for Cavalier football, 103.9 WLPO. Again, LP leading Rochelle 3-0. Back right after this. When a play breaks down on the football field, you've got the rest of the game to make up for it. If something breaks down at home, you need prompted professional service. That's why at Town & Country Services, their phones are manned 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, to ensure that your problems and questions with plumbing, heating, and cooling are all taken care of promptly and professionally. Town & Country Services offer free estimates and affordable rates. Their licensed professionals and friendly staff have been a staple in the Illinois Valley since 1919. Give them a call anytime in Tonica at 815-442-3415 or Princeton at 815-872. 2200. Wouldn't it be nice to bank within your community and know that your funds stay local? Hi, this is Mike Porter from Eureka Savings Bank. Here at Eureka, we are as local as it gets. Get your loan where the decision is made locally. Get help with all your banking questions from Eureka's helpful team made up of locals from your great community. When you bank with Eureka, you invest in your community. Local lending, local decisions, local people, and convenient local locations. Visit Eureka locally in LaSalle, Mendota, Oglesby, and Peru. Hablamos Espanol, member of DIC. Start your day with Rod and Tom, then get updates throughout the day on 103.9 WLPO. Star Rock News Talk and Classic Raw. Jeremy Aiken and Brandon LaShance back here. Second quarter of play underway with LP leading Rochelle 3-0. 
Hubs will have it first and 10 at their own 27 yard line. Under center is the quarterback, Josh Lloyd. And he's going to pass and throws to the tight end out of the backfield. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. He was looking for Trayvon Ethan Albers. I think Trayvon Hunter got a hand on it. Yeah. Looked like he dove and tapped it out of there. So Trayvon with a nice he's play. Second and 10 for Rochelle. As Rochelle came out throwing oh, the ball here Trayvon. in the second quarter. Now that the wind is at their backs, a little easier to do. But a nice job, as Brandon mentioned, by Trayvon Hunter on the coverage. Second down and 10 coming up for the Rochelle Hubs. And they're going to run that jet sweep, this time to the far side of the field. And look like Hunter was there on a tackle. So was Byron Verdun, who's been pretty busy. Brought down again by number 14, Byron Verdun. Was that Eric Braceno, I think, with a carry there, number two? Or was it? Actually, I think it was number 10. Yeah, yeah. Garrett, Garrett Gensler, Gensler, okay, on the jet sweep. He'll check out of the game now, and Ben Harvey in for Rochelle, as it'll be another third and long. So the LP defense has done a nice job today uh, forcing Rochelle into third and long situations, a team that uh, would rather have a third and short and stay with that running game. So they'll split out two receivers now. Harvey, the lone man in the backfield. They're going to pass. Straight drop back. Looking for, uh, oh, almost intercepted Sean Whitfield. Knocked the ball down. It was intended for pass. Nolan Morris. At, if he would have come up with his left hand, he would have caught it, and he was that was he a was touchdown. off to the races. That was a yeah. touchdown. Whitfield, Sean, smacking his hands, shaking his head, but he still did a good enough job to knock it down. So Rochelle, looking like their third punt of the afternoon, is coming up. Whitfield will have to shake that one off. Maybe he can make it up right here with a big punt return. He's yet to be able to return a punt. They've had two punts. The one was not good at all. The second one was pretty good into the wind. But now the quarterback and punter, Lloyd, will have the wind at his back. No rush coming from LP. Whitfield going to try to return this one at the 37. Sean stumbles for a moment and is brought down immediately by Rochelle's Nolan Morissette, number three. That little stumble cost him a little bit. As yeah. soon as he took that stumble, Rochelle was right there to corral him in. It's that darn turf. But uh, no, it looks beautiful. Uh, the turf awesome. does. This is very cool to be here for the first game for yeah. LP on this turf. It looks amazing. Mm, hard telling how the old grass would have been today with uh, some rain lately, and it's quite muddy around the valley these days. So beautiful turf, and we'll have uh, Morris has new turf, so we'll be at uh, Morris this year enjoying the turf. Look at you just taking all the lavish turf. I in. know. Uh, it's a sign of the times, yeah, folks. I think uh, most schools will be switching to turf before before you know it. Once Mendota did it, yeah. uh, when they got the whole new stadium and put the yeah. turf in, I was like, okay, I can see this being a trend. Sterling's got turf. DeKalb with turf with their new school when they built it. And Hartman with a keeper. Tyler gets it out to about the 40-yard line. So give Tyler three Hartman yards the on the quarterback keeper. Second and seven Here coming up. For the Cavaliers. Three nothing LP leading Rochelle. It's been a I guess you'd say a defensive struggle so far. LP's defense definitely has not given up much of anything to Rochelle. They've gotten one first down in this game, and that's it. LP has definitely been locked in. They know where the ball's going, and they're like I said, they're watching the gaps and how the line's moving and going through it. Hartman's going to pass into the wind. Tyler throws and almost hauled in by Trayvon Hunter. Trayvon tried for the fingertip catch in front of the Cavalier bench. Just could not haul it in. And it falls incomplete. So it'll be third down and eight for the Cavaliers. Great effort by Trayvon. And Tyler got that one away just in time. As he, he was hit pretty hard right after he released the football. And that was a gutsy move throwing it into the wind. Yeah. But it looked like he had just enough mustard on it to get it there. Third and eight. And Drake Weber now. Drake is a big-time playmaker. Let's see if he can make something happen as a receiver. Reese Kurtz is the other receiver in this set for LP. Straight drop back by Hartman. Tyler throws. And there was four players going up for it. And LP has it. Weber and Trayvon Hunter went up for it. And we'll give credit to Trayvon Hunter with a catch. That was awesome. <laughs> two, two hubs, two Cavaliers battling over it. Hunter comes down with it. 
So Trayvon Hunter with the catch. Who wants it more? Well, that time it was Trayvon, and it you could have gave it to either him or Drake Weber. And uh, so big third down conversion for the Cavaliers. First and 10, Cavs at the Rochelle 38-yard line. First completed pass of this ball game for uh, Tyler Hartman and the LP Cavaliers. Tyler back under center. In motion is Hunter. Hunter, or Hartman going to keep it. Tyler is at the 30, the 25. And, man, he was one maybe tackle away from going all the way. But that's a first down carry for Tyler Hartman. If Rochelle's Grant Thompson wouldn't have been there as a safety and just clipped his legs, he was gone. Yeah, that was a uh, nice tackle by Thompson. He upended Hartman. Tyler gets it down to the 25-yard line of Rochelle. First and 10 LP, the clock winding down to about nine minutes to go here in this first half. Cavaliers have dominated this one and Hartman's gonna keep it again. Tyler turns it up inside and gets it down just outside the 20. They'll mark it at the 21 yard line of Rochelle. Cavaliers knocking on the door of the red zone. Yay for Hartman, brings up second and six for the Cavaliers. From the Rochelle, 21 yard line. Second and six. Cavaliers knocking on the door of the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. Hamilton and Kurtz are the wideouts. Weber, Hunter, Carrico, the backs. Hunter goes in motion. Uh, Carrico gets it, and not a lot there. Maybe down to the 20, and that's it. Look like tackle made by Braden oh, Alfano. Oh, Wonder if that's any relation to the Alfano's around here. Maybe. Yeah, Braden Alfano. The more you start talking to people in different parts of the Illinois Valley, though, or even right outside of the Illinois right. Valley, you learn how small of a world it is. Yeah. Of course, Rochelle, just about an hour up I-39 from uh, LaSalle, Peru. Third down and four. The Cavaliers are inside the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. Tyler Hartman under center. In motion is Hunter. Tyler's got it, and he is hit right away. And, boy, they didn't even give him time to even do their option if he wanted to. The well, there was three hubs, 10, 50, 27, yeah. just came in closed the door real fast. Gabe Neese, he is the aforementioned 27 for Rochelle, makes the tackle. And uh, an interesting call here, I think LP would go for it. On a fourth down, LP uh, went for it on fourth down their last drive and did not convert. Cavaliers, all three possessions have been in the red zone. Unfortunately, they've only come away with three points. You get that, I mean, LP should be up by more than three at this point. They've pretty well dominated the line of scrimmage. The field possession has been in their yeah. favor since yeah. the ball was kicked off. Tyler was trying for a hard count, did not get it. Now they'll call a timeout. 7.18 time to go here in the first half. Take a look at a couple scores, uh, soccer. And LP's playing in the Streeter Cup, and the Streeter invite uh, LP Kiwani play to a one-all draw in that one. And early on from uh, Manlius, Bureau Valley trailing Sterling Newman in the first quarter by a score of 7 to nothing. Also, we'll try to see if we can get some scores with Fieldcrest and DMAC today. And also Ottawa playing host to Sycamore. Some of the other games. There was quite a few Friday night games last night. Of course, that would be last night, Friday night. I know <laughs> <laughs> St. Beach shut out um, Monmouth Roseville, so the Bruins 2-0 early on. And Is that 27-0? 27-0, yeah. Princeton, of course, ran the score on a uh, hall. Princeton's really, tough. And, and it oh, makes so you wonder how, how Princeton could have done in a deep playoff run this year. But it is what it is, I guess. Call me crazy. I thought they were a state team. Yeah. I thought they were a state team. They had almost their whole team coming back from last year. Ronde Worlds. Remember they gave what, D1 player. Byron everything they wanted. Was it 7-3 seven to 7-3 three seven three to Byron, who was Indeed. a juggernaut right. every year. Right. So, But I'm sure Princeton's still loving that they're playing football. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, if they go undefeated. There's a little trickery with Trayvon Hunter getting the handoff. Trayvon's at the 10 to 5. Going to be kept out of the end zone. They did kind of a misdirection double handoff. Reverse, I guess it would be. His legs were just moving. They were trying to bring him <laughs> down. He just kept going and going. That's what you got to do. Ball's knocked out of bounds. And it'll be first and goal for the Cavs at the five-yard line. It's a good 16-yard gain. So uh, LP looking for their first Town & Country Services touchdown of the year. They've got a field goal. 
And still trying to get in that end zone. First and goal, Tyler Hartman in the backfield. And Tyler has it, turns it up, and it goes down maybe a yard at most. Hartman with the keeper. Slow to get up on the tackle was uh, Gabe Neese. We've been talking about Matt Carrico running the ball and being physical up the middle. I just seen him lay a block and just lay a hub down on the ground, <laughs> just blocking him. That was awesome. It's always good to see sometimes, and great job, Brandon, because sometimes that goes unnoticed, some of the blocking, not only by uh, running backs, but also the big offensive linemen up front who have been doing a good job for the Cavaliers early on. Second down and goal from the Rochelle four-yard line. Six and a half minutes to play in this first half. Tyler keeps it again. Uh-oh, they're gonna, Rochelle's acting like there was a fumble. There is a fumble on the play. I there didn't see who turf. put the ball on the turf. I did not there. either. But Rochelle recovers it at the two-yard line. LP put the ball on the turf. Again, could not I thought Tyler had the football. Hartman. I don't know well, if he Hartman put it on and Carrico were at the same spot at the same well, time. I couldn't tell if it was a handoff or not. It was a big jumble of green jerseys. So LP with a costly turnover at the two-yard line of Rochelle. And LP does not come away with any points. Here's Harvey off left tackle, and he's up to about the seven-yard line. Trayvon Hunter with the tackle. Harvey with the carry, brought down by number 34, Trayvon Hunter. Ben Harvey gives uh, Rochelle a little breathing room. That's really all they were wanting on that play, get it out of the almost end zone. Six and yards on the carry, six yards on that and carry. Four for Rochelle. Second and four for the Hubs at their own eight-yard line. But the Cavaliers have had three great drives and only one came away with points, and that was just a field goal. You hope that doesn't bite them in the end here. And they do the end around. Whitfield with a heck of a tackle. Sean Whitfield with a tackle for loss on Eric Brezeno. If they're playing that kind of defense, though, I don't know if they're going to have to worry about it. No. They're not letting Rochelle go anywhere. I think what you're seeing here is... Is LP speed on defense when Rochelle tries to run uh, horizontally? There's just nothing there. LP's got more speed, I think, than Rochelle does. So that really limits in what the hubs can do. Their most effective runs have been really up the middle because LP has more speed from sideline to sideline than Rochelle would appear. It's a third and eight now. You got Rochelle facing a third and long at their own four yard line. They're going to run it, and not a lot there. They handed it off to Garrett Gensler. It was kind of a pitch play where the quarterback, Josh Lloyd, pitched in and turned into a blocker. But Rochelle's going to have to punt it from their own end zone. Second time already today they will have had to have punt from their own end zone. Brings up fourth and seven for Rochelle. In the middle of the end zone will be Josh Lloyd. Sean Whitfield going back to return this punt for LP. Whitfield back to that is uh, 35, going to be about the 40-yard line again. Lloyd will have the win at his back. And there's the punt, goes right to Whitfield. This is definitely returnable. Whitfield, a lot of running room, 35, gets a block. And now he's going to be tackled there. Looked like he had a little more running room at first. And then it, I think it was indecisive yeah. just for a second. And yeah. as he was indecisive, they kind of closed the sides. Noah Messer got the tackle for Rochelle. Still got seven yards on that punt return. So it'll be first and 10 LP at the Rochelle 34 yard line. So again, great starting field position for the Cavs. That's been kind of the story of this game. Cavalier defense has dominated. Unfortunately, the offense has only been able to get three points. I think you gotta credit Rochelle defense as well. Cause they, oh yeah, they've been playing well. LP's moving the ball, but then when those critical situations come where you're trying to get in the end zone, Rochelle's been shutting the door and not letting him in. So let's see what the Cavaliers do here. They have two timeouts, 4.24 to go. Plenty of time to uh, try to punch this one in before half. The Cavaliers will get the ball in the second half to start out. Hartman under center, and first man through is Carrico. Forward progress should get him down to about the 30. Hit first by number seven, Harvey. Harvey again with a tackle for Rochelle. He's a standout player on both sides of the football. Second down and six for Rochelle. He is everywhere. 
Second down and six for the Cavaliers. Ball spotted right in the middle of the 30-yard uh, line. We've been saying Harvey just as much as Hartman and yeah. Carrico. Yep. Second and six. Tyler Hartman under center. He fumbles the snap, picks it up, and is hit forward for about two yards. So LP's had some issues. That looked kind of weird positioning. Looked like he was lower than you usually are as a quarterback yeah. waiting for the snap. Cavaliers fumbled the last possession inside the five-yard line. Four for the Cavaliers from the Rochelle, 27-yard line. Third and four LP at the Rochelle, 27, almost 28-yard line. A little over three minutes to play. Three-nothing LP clinging to that lead. Weber and Whitfield are the uh, wingbacks here. Carrico at fullback. Whitfield in motion, Hartman going to pass, throwing, he has a man wide open, Drake Weber. Drake turns it inside, 10, down near the seven yard line. Weber was wide open, and Hartman found him. First down and goal for LP. They made that look easy, that was just like yeah. passing, little pass and catch I'm, in the backyard. Yeah, I'm guessing Tyler and Drake have thrown each other that pass a few times in the backyard and on the field. So it goes about a 21-yard gain for the Cavaliers. Just like that, LP in the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. Illinois Valley Credit Union now offering Visa cards with interest rates as low as 9.9%. Contact IVCU today for all the details. First and goal, LP at the 8 of Rochelle. Let's see if LP can finally get into the end zone here. Hartman under center. What do we got? So whistles blow. Is it delay a game? Oh, man. Well, that'll move him back to the 13-yard line. So another costly turnover, or not turnover. Well, they did have one costly turnover, but a costly penalty for the Cavaliers. It'll be first and goal now from the 13. And, of course, LP, not every stadium has a play clock, but the Cavaliers have play clocks on both uh, end zones. It's first and goal at the 13 clock ticking down about two minutes to go in this first half. Hartman with the keeper. Tyler's in the side to 10, down about the six. I mean, that was only their third penalty, but that's 15 yards and they've all been red zone. Yeah, yeah, costly penalties. So gain of about seven. Second down and goal. So again, Hartman got the uh, penalty yardage back plus a little bit more. They have done that every time, though. Yes, they <laughs> as soon as they lose Which the penalty, they get it back. Because in past years, sometimes you get negative plays, and then you get another negative play, and that pretty much just puts an end to a drive. Hartman under center, second and goal. Tyler turns it up inside, maybe down to the four. Give him two yards. So it'll be third Hartman down and goal. Down by number 50, Alfano. At the four, Alfano with another tackle for Rochelle. Right the four yard line where the Cavaliers will have a third and goal from the four. I know LP wants this one bad. They've been down here yeah. so many times today. It's like, all right, we got to do this this time. And you almost wonder, Brandon, I mean, if they don't get it here, do you settle for the three or do you still try to get that six again? I mean, it's – you want points. We'll I see. keep pushing it. I am I think Jose would too. Tyler pitched to Carrico, and he's going to be stopped at the five, a loss of one. We're going to find out right now. Yep, Gabe Neese nice. with the tackle. So there are no indications right now yet of a field goal. Drake Weber's out there. I would think LP will wind this down pretty low and then maybe take another timeout. They don't want to bother having Rochelle get the ball back. And I just saw Drake go like this, like throw, like make a throwing motion. Don't know if that's going to happen with this win. <laughs> <laughs> they only got four yards to go. Here we go. Big play. Fourth and goal at the four-yard line. This could be the last play of the half. Hartman going to throw. Tyler looking. Nobody open. Nobody open. Throws in the back of the end zone. Oh, off the hands of Hamilton. He yeah. had it. Yep, Nolan Hamilton could not haul it in. He was in the back of the end zone. That was a nice read from Hartman. He looked, saw the defense was closing in, and found the receiver. Just couldn't handle it. Yeah, and the line gave him time. He bought time. 
Found Hamilton in the back of the end zone. Nolan just could not haul it in. And the Cavaliers, again, come up empty on a big possession. Got to think Rochelle just runs one play up the middle here and goes into the half at 3 nothing. And they will hand it off to Harvey. Watch out. Harvey gets it out to about the 15-yard line. That'll be their best gain of the half, but that'll be the end of the half. So Drake Weber gets the tackle, and Drake is responsible for the only score of this half. The Cavaliers got a field goal early on, and that's been it. Three to nothing is your score, LP and Rochelle. You're listening to the LP Cavalier Football on 103.9 FM, 1220 AM. We'll be back with some first half numbers after this. Brandon LaShance, Jeremy Aiken here with Cavalier Football. 3-0 at Howard Fellow Stadium. Back after this. Update your home's exterior. Time, I saw cut you off there at the end. Everything in the dark. Hippercrest Premium Double 4-Inch Vinyl Siding is engineered to be durable, 15% thicker, and has the look of natural cedar siding. It has a limited lifetime warranty and is available in nine colors. $6.79 per 12 and a half foot piece after 11% off. Good through March 27th. Savings are mailing rebates. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. If Tom Petty, Bob Seger, and John Mellencamp are some of your favorite players, stick around after the game. 103.9 WLPO, Starved Rock News, Talk, and Classic Rock. Back here at Howard Fellow Stadium, halftime of a game that hasn't featured much scoring. LP's had some golden opportunities. They lead 3-0 over Rochelle. Cavaliers will get the ball to start the second half. And the only scoring in this one was a Drake Weber 35-yard field goal at 546 of the first quarter. The Cavaliers turned the ball over once inside the five-yard line of fumble. But uh, that's been it as far as scoring goes. One turnover, and it was LP's. LP does have a few penalties that were also costly. Uh, Brandon LaChance with me, and Brandon's been keeping track of stats. Pretty one-sided in LP's favor. Yeah, I mean, they've been pushing the ball up the middle, not really doing a lot of outside runs, a, a few here and there, but Tyler Hartman has, you know, 13 carries, 44 yards, also has two completions out of four attempts for 31 as the quarterback for LP. And then Carrico, we've said his name many, many times, yeah. Matt, uh, 10 rushes for 28 yards. Those have been the main ball movers for the Cavaliers. And unfortunately, just hasn't uh, mounted to any touchdowns, but they do have the one field goal for uh, Drake Weber here as uh, the Cavaliers do lead at half, 3 to nothing over the Rochelle Hubs. Again, LP won the kickoff, the Yerke Savings Bank uh, kickoff, and they won the coin toss by uh, brought to you by Hometown National Bank. And we'll get the ball to start the second half. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. And we'll come up with some other scores. Again, there are some other football games going on around the area. Also, soccer with the uh, Streeter Cup invite going on. I guess the other type of football. And uh, we'll give you some updates. And, of course, March Madness should be tipping off right about now with uh, the Ramblers of Loyola taking on the uh, Beavers of Oregon State. You mean Illinois is not still in it? No, no. The Illini would normally, well, most people thought the Illini would be playing probably Oklahoma State. But uh, Loyola and Oregon State had other ideas. So we'll talk about that March Madness and more. 3 nothing LP at the half over Rochelle. And back after this with more halftime coverage. Down, set, hike. Ah, my back. Whether you're getting down in a three-point stance, getting down off a ladder, or getting down on the dance floor. You need a chiropractor on your healthcare team. Dr. Mike Gurkovich at Gurkovich Family Chiropractic in LaSalle utilizes the most advanced technology to provide care for men, women, and children of all ages. Go to drgurkovich.com to see all the ways having a chiropractor on your team can help you on your way to a healthy lifestyle. That's drgurkovich.com. Bill Walsh Automotive, a proud sponsor of tonight's Drive of the Game. While a great drive is important in football, Bill Walsh knows what you drive is crucial to your home team. From work and school to the big game, you need a dependable ride that will get you and your team where they need to be safely, on time, in comfort, and style. Find your perfect drive right now at BillWalsh.com. And keep listening for tonight's Drive of the Game. It's brought to you by Bill Walsh Automotive and BillWalsh.com, where you can find your next drive without doing any driving at all switching is easy we do it all the time we switch on the lights we switch tv channels 
Some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, State Farm agent Jessica Strauch, right here in Peru, can switch you over so you can start saving today. Jessica and her team are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Jessica Strauch, it's easy to switch and save. This is Jessica Strauch. Give me a call. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Here are three great activities you can plan to do in Star Rock Country. Take a spring guided hike at Star Rock State Park. These fun-filled group excursions will be offered every Saturday and Sunday, departing from the Star Rock Lounge lobby at 10 a.m. Call 815-220-7386 to reserve your space today. Book a stay at either the Star Rock Lodge and Conference Center or Kishua Star Rock Area Cabins. You'll receive a complimentary welcome bag that includes a $20 gift certificate that you can redeem at some of your favorite local drinking and dining destinations. Bring your calendars to Cat's Eye Wine Bar in Ottawa this Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. for another installment of their open mic series hosted by local musician Sean Walsh. For more information, be sure to follow Cat's Eye on Facebook. For more activities you can do in the area, visit StarBrockCountry.com and like us on Facebook at Star Rock Country. It's a new tax season, and Abacus Tax and Accounting Services is ready to serve you from their brand new location in Peru. Abacus has moved their 25 plus years of experience to the west end of Peru between Luz La Grotto and Steinberg's Furniture. Abacus has a secure site so you can upload your files without coming into the office. They also have a secure drop box and will be taking in person appointments as well. For more information, call Abacus Tax Service at 815 664 3290 or visit their brand new website, abacustaxsv.com. A tradition of news and sports. 1039 WLPO. Starved Rock News Talk and Classic Rock. Jeremy Aiken and Brandon Lachance back here at Howard Fellow Stadium as the uh, Cavalettes entertain the crowd here after the marching band did their thing. Always great. And uh, the Cavaliers, a football team trying to do their thing on the home opener, season opener, leading Rochelle at half 3 0. By the way, this is the St. Margaret's Health halftime show. Stay on top of your game with help from St. Margaret's Health and Dr. Shin. He's the Illinois Valley's only doctor that's certified in both orthopedics and sports medicine. Time now for our uh, Subway scoreboard update. Subway scoreboard update brought to you by Subways in Spring Valley, Peru, LaSalle, Marseilles, and Oglesby. Uh, Get on out and enjoy a sandwich made with freshly baked bread and fresh ingredients right in front of your eyes. Subway, eat fresh. After one quarter at uh, Kingfield in Ottawa, Uh, The Pirates and Sycamore Spartans are tied up. Nothing, nothing, so defensive battle there. Second quarter, Sterling Newman with a 21 to nothing lead over Bureau Valley. And um, nothing yet from Fieldcrest. I know the Knights are playing Deer Creek Mackinac, so we'll keep a lookout for that. Soccer, we had a score from earlier at the Streeter Cup invite. LP and Kiwani played to a one-all draw in that one. I think uh, LP will play a few more games as part of that tournament uh, today and of course uh, we're looking at uh, college basketball the March Madness field of 16 underway and Loyola with an early lead over Oregon State in that one so go Ramblers as they look to make the Elite Eight for what the second time in four years I guess it would be or so yeah it'd be four years yeah 2018 they made it to the final four so I know Brandon's a big uh, SIU and the Missouri Valley guy like mine like myself so Love to see the uh, Valley teams, and uh, obviously Drake was in it as well. They beat Wichita, who used to be in the Missouri Valley, and uh, Drake won one game and then fell in the next one. But uh, I, Let's hear it for your Cavaliers. you figure the, you figure the selection committee would learn after those great SIU teams and Creighton back in the day and Wichita, why you continue to underseed some of the Missouri Valley teams, and Loyola proved them wrong again this year as an eight seed. You know, U of I still should win that game, and maybe if they played ten times, they'd beat Loyola, eight of them. But uh, Loyola was well, well underseated at eight, and they're proving that. Maybe they use it as a chip on their shoulder, and uh, Sister Jean doesn't hurt to have her on their side either. So. Yeah, it's Sister Jean and all of her love and support <laughs> and the big center. Uh, you can help me Crutwig, with the name. yeah, Crutwig. He played amazing. I mean, he's not going to be a player that gets drafted. He might go overseas or play right, G League right. or something. He's right. not a you know NBA talent, but... Obviously knows how to play the game. He was making smart well, passes and awesome. defensive reads and the little touch uh, scores around the hoop. He was doing everything that wanted to do, and that's what the difference of the game was. The mustache I could do without, but, uh, but hey, it's working for Crutwig and uh, Loyola as they look to uh, hopefully move on to the 
Elite Eight, and I'm sure Porter Mosier is going to get a lot of phone calls for uh, job openings. I know Indiana is obviously a very prestigious job, so we'll see, and maybe he'll, maybe he'll stay. Hopefully he stays at Loyola and continues uh, with that program there. So we'll keep track of that game as well throughout the afternoon. And uh, I had an update, too. I know Rachel uh, Rachel Hickey, one of the best LP runners really of all time, uh, state winner in a track and I know um, Brandon uh, you had probably the opportunity to cover, cover Rachel quite a bit in high school I saw a tweet here she's now at Illinois State University and uh, not sure what tournament they're in but uh, the ISU track and field Twitter sent out a message saying well this is Ashley Hagee who was an even more recent LP grad Ashley was the top finisher for the Redbirds in the women's 1500 meters the freshman finishing sixth overall so uh you got Rachel and Ashley both doing great things at Illinois State. I just actually talked to Rachel. We texted each other about a week ago, and uh, she's really excited for the outdoor season of track, and her and Ashley are pumped to be doing it together, and they want to do better than they did indoor because they were both going through some elements and injuries, and now they're like, hey, we're back and see what we can do. So there you go. Uh, LP, it's kind of the... Sounds like a pipeline now, LP ISU track and field pipeline that we got going on. And uh, so congratulations to Rachel and Ashley doing great things as LP graduates. I know some other LP grads, Cam Olson had a fantastic season for Central Michigan. I know at least one week she was named, a, I think, a co-setter of the week in the MAC, the conference. Um, who else we got? We got Marissa Justy, who is now at uh, Butler, I believe, right? She's playing volleyball yeah. at Butler. We got a... Uh, Brady Hubie is playing baseball for Northern Illinois, yeah. And he has had a couple great games for them. A couple home runs, playing some awesome out or infield. He's doing some good things for them. Yeah, so a lot of LP graduates are going on and doing uh, great stuff at the next level. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, kind of athletes from uh, the current LP crop goes on and does good things. Right now, this football team is in the lead. I know they wish they'd have more points than they do, but the Cavaliers do lead Rochelle right now by a score of three to nothing here at Howard Fellow Stadium. You're listening to the St. Margaret's Health Halftime Show, and uh, we'll come back when we come back. Uh, me and Brandon will talk about it during the break, and we'll come up with a, a second half adjustment for the Cavaliers to try to bring this one home. Again, they lead three to nothing over Rochelle. Back in just a few moments on 103.9 WLPO. The Heritage Health Therapy and Senior Care Team, Peru, has come to know and count on is still here for you. Heritage's top priority has always been to provide for the safety and well-being of our residents. We continue to do so, especially now. Hi, I'm Luann Hewitt from Heritage Health Peru. Everyone at Heritage Health wants to thank you for your patience and understanding as we adapt to follow new government guidelines. Remember, we are here for you. Contact us at 223-4901 or visit heritageofcare.com slash Peru for more information. You can get pretty banged up playing football if you're not careful and Sometimes, no matter how careful you are, your car gets banged up due to an accident. If you've had an accident, LaSalle Body and Fender will help you score the best deal in auto body, fender, collision, and dent repair. LaSalle Body and Fender's been in the Illinois Valley providing excellent auto repair for three generations, and they work with all insurance companies. When your car gets banged up, call LaSalle Body and Fender, and you can call them for 24-hour towing, 223-0598. In 2004, Dave Banigay was looking for a way to honor the former high school in his hometown of Mineral, Illinois. He had stories from family members as well as facts and figures from various sources. And while going through yearbooks, he noticed a pattern. Not only had Mineral closed its doors, but some of the schools they played against in basketball, football, baseball, and track also closed their doors as well. That's when Banigay created the website Illinois High School Glory Days. Over 1,160 schools are featured on the website, which debuted in January 2005. You'll find facts about the towns where these schools were located, the history of education in these communities, as well as school songs, win-loss records, and names of famous alums from these schools. From Kaskaskia to Chicago, Galena to Haven, Rock, and everywhere in between. Come check out IllinoisHSGloryDays.com. Remember, IllinoisHSGloryDays.com and Classic Kids 103.9 WLPO. Still hearing the school bells, even though the schools are gone. The stigma of addiction is destroying lives across the country, preventing our loved ones from getting the help and treatment they desperately need. We are Shatterproof, a national nonprofit organization dedicated to ending the stigma and devastation that addiction causes families. 
we're changing laws, we're creating a community of support, and we're providing evidence-based resources for prevention, treatment, and recovery. We are working hard every single day to reduce the secrecy and remove the shame of addiction. Sigma shatters lives, rise up against addiction so another life isn't lost to this disease. Join the Shatterproof movement. Get involved today and learn more at shatterproof.org slash rise up. That's shatterproof.org slash rise up. Stick around for more great rock after the game on 103.9 WLPO. Starved Rock News, talk, and classic rock. Jeremy Aiken and Brandon Lachance back here on uh, 103.9 uh, FM at 1220 AM. Oglesby, LaSalle, Peru, Ottawa. And it's 3-0 LP with the lead over Rochelle. As we continue our St. Margaret's Health halftime show, stay on top of your game with help from St. Margaret's Health and Dr. Shin. He's the Illinois Valley's only doctor certified in both orthopedics and sports medicine. Time now for the Gergovich Family Chiropractor second half adjustment. Everyone needs a chiropractor on their health care team. Go to Gergovich.com to see all the ways having a chiropractor on your team can help you on your way to a healthy lifestyle. And as we were talking, Brandon, I think it's pretty simple. A defense keep doing what they're doing. Offense is moving the ball. It's just punching it in. Only three points, and they got in the red zone, what, four different drives. They're not just taking advantage of the opportunities that they're having. They're on the four-yard line, the two-yard line, the five-yard line, and they're just not able to kick it in. I'm not saying that they're not doing different things because they are trying to throw. They are trying to option. They are trying to run it up the middle. But they have to find that one weak link in the line and keep going there or find that weak link that because there's obviously one because they're moving the ball. It's just those prime opportunities yeah. to score because you got to. You have to in a game like this. Rochelle gets a freak play or anything like that, gets a touchdown, and they got the game. So they have to do something quick. Yeah, if you're the Hubs, I'm sure. I mean, Coach Kyle Kissick, you're thinking, man, we're, we're lucky to be down only 3-0 because uh, LP pretty well dominated that first half. They turned the ball over once inside the red zone, a couple key penalties. And uh, so here we go. But LP will have the ball to start the second half as the wind starts picking up again. The lights have been on all afternoon. Thankfully, the rain has held out so far. And as expected, this game is moving along pretty quick. We're only an hour from when this game kicked off. Two teams that run the football a lot. We had a feeling that this game would go pretty quick. And uh, so far it is. Let's take one quick break. And uh, when we come back, we'll have the second half kickoff. LP3, Rochelle, nothing. Cavaliers with the ball after this on 103.9 WLPO. When it comes to orthopedic care and sports medicine, you're in great hands at St. Margaret's Health. Get back to living a full, active lifestyle or take care of that nagging sports injury. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Corona, Mitchell, Shin, and Kasich are redefining excellence with an unprecedented program for joint replacement in the area's most advanced technology and techniques in sports medicine. Visit aboutsmh.org backslash ortho to find a location near you. From nagging sports injuries to joint replacement surgery, you can count on the orthopedic surgeons at St. Margaret's Health. When you open up your credit card bill, is it more like a romance or a scary movie? Change up the way you see your bill each month with Visa cards from Illinois Valley Credit Union. Get the Visa Classic card or the Visa Platinum card with rates starting as low as 9.9% APR with annual fees and a 25-day grace period. Enjoy the worldwide acceptance and convenience of Visa with the hometown service of Illinois Valley Credit Union. Get started today at IVCU.com. Illinois Valley Credit Union with locations in Peru and Princeton. Member in UA. Hi, I'm Melanie Maluli thompson I'm running for Spring Valley Mayor to help you, my neighbors, bring positive change to our town. Please consider the motivations and qualifications of each candidate. My motivations are pure. I want to serve the place I've called home for more than 50 years. I'm Melanie Maluli thompson Please vote for me April 6th. I'm confident that together we can build a bright future for Spring Valley. Paid for by Melanie Maluli thompson I'm Joe Adams. I'm a pharmacist. I'm also a parent that knows the pain of losing their child to an opiate overdose. We lose 64,000 lives a year due to this epidemic. No one is immune from this. Yes, I attained what I viewed as the highest level that I could reach within my profession. And yes, it, it happened to my family. The pharmacist has a, a huge impact on you uh, as a provider of healthcare information. 
It's important to have an open line of communication with your pharmacist about safe medication usage, including opioids. The members of the National Association of Boards of Pharmacy focus on ensuring that pharmacies and pharmacists are providing safe medications and patient services for you and your family. I will never see my son again. If you think it can't happen to your family, think again. Learn how to keep you and your loved ones safe at nabp.pharmacy. You're going to need me. You're going to need us. All of us. You're going to need our help with your water, your air, your food. You're going to need our determination, our compassion. You're going to need the next generation of leaders to face the challenges the future will bring. And we promise we'll be there when you need us. Today, 4-H is growing the next generation of leaders. Support us at 4-H.org. Take us to the game and wherever you go, download the free 103.9 WLPO app today. And we are back underway in the second half. Tyler Hartman with a runoff right tackle for about eight yards after a Sean Whitfield kick return, a very nice kick return by Sean Whitfield. And the Cavaliers in 30 seconds already now in the Rochelle side of the football field at their hub 47-yard line. So second down and short for LP. Hartman under center. Tyler going to keep it. He's got the first down inside the 45, going to mark it at the 42. Gain of five for the senior quarterback. So the Cavalier offense continuing to churn out the yards here. First down for the Cavaliers. Leading three to nothing over the Rochelle Hubs. And that's their ninth first down of the game wow. compared to Rochelle's two. Yeah. But it's still only three to nothing. And that's the number that really matters. <laughs> yes, it is. But uh, man, you have that feeling if LP can get a touchdown. A 10-point lead almost would feel like a, a three-touchdown lead uh, the way their defense has played here. First and 10, Cavaliers. Hartman keeping it again and not much there. I don't know if that was maybe a broken play or what, but Tyler just went with it and got taken down. Rochelle was ready for that. You could see how they packed yeah. the box. They had everybody right there. No gain on the play for Tyler Hartman. No gain on the play. Second and 10 for the, ten for the Cavs at the 42-yard line. The wind whipping pretty good here at Howard Fellows Stadium. But again, the rain has held off. You can probably hear the wind every now and then in the, uh, through the feed here on WLPO. Gives it that real feel. <laughs> Tyler Hartman back to pass. Going deep, looking for Hunter, and Trayvon turns around at the last second, but it fell incomplete, and uh, yeah, two Cavaliers right next Incomplete to each other again with uh, Reese Kurtz and Trayvon Hunter. Trayvon Hunter. Hunter, though, could not come up with it, so it goes incomplete. Usually you hear about, like, pack tackling, and you have everybody involved in tackles like that. Not usually receiving. Oh, no. You got <laughs> four or five people no. trying to go for a ball. No, 42. It worked earlier. Hunter came up with a catch that uh, could have even been credited to Drake Weber. Drake, uh, being the nice guy that he is, uh, gave Trayvon the reception. Trayvon a junior. Drake, of course, a senior. It's like they caught it together. It's like, here you go, buddy. Yeah. This is for you. Maybe that's, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to ask him later on if, who actually caught it. Third down and long. Hartman under center comes back out. Tyler maybe doing an audible here. Clock has stopped with 10 minutes to go in the third. In motion is Hunter. Hartman going to keep it, turns it up inside. Tyler with the running room, first down. A third and 10, Brandon, and Hartman gets it on the quarterback keeper. That was a tough run. Again, his legs just kept moving, Result put his shoulders down, first hit a couple hooks, bounced off, and just kept going. That's a senior leader right there, a senior quarterback, Tyler Hartman, on a third and long, gets 11 yards on the carry. We'll have another quick check of the uh, Subway scoreboard here in moments. Got an update from Ottawa with Sycamore and the Pirates going at it. First and 10 Cavaliers at the 31 of Rochelle. Handoff right up the middle. The pile is moving forward. It would, would likely be Carrico with the carry. With the 75, the Carson Wiggy yeah. just pushed him, <laughs> guided him through the whole line there. And they're going to mark it five at the 26. Five, second and five, for the Cavaliers. five yards Rochelle. on the carry Carson for Carrico. I guess you could say Rochelle has had a bend but not break defense in this one. 
as the Cavaliers have been moving the football, but uh, the Hubs, to their credit, have given up just the three spot. Second and five Cavaliers under nine minutes to go in the third quarter. Harbin back under center. Tyler gives it back to Carrico, and he's going to be just short of the first down as he was tripped up at the 23-yard line of Rochelle to be third and two for the Cavaliers. Give him three on that carry. Cavaliers from the Rochelle 23-yard line. Cavaliers on the road next Saturday at Plano. He's in the Reapers. It's going to be an athletic game. Every time I see anything that has to do with Plano athletics, they're just fast, very, very fast. And more purple. And more purple. Yeah, LP had the purple with Rochelle today and more purple, maybe even more so, with Plano next week. Third and short, Hartman under center, trying to draw him off sides again. So far, not doing it. Hartman just takes it right up the middle, quarterback sneak. And looks like he's inside the 20. Big pile up by at least five kids between Rochelle and LP. That was all the Cavalier line. The Cavalier line pushed them through again. They're doing a great job. I'm going to say dominating the line, but doing good enough to make sure that Cavaliers can gain yards and get first downs. Yeah, that was uh, he got that one. All he needed was two, and Tyler got at least three. I actually thought it was a bad spot. It looked like he was inside the 20, but they'll mark it right at the 20. First and 10, the Cavaliers back in the IV Credit Union red zone. Still looking for that first touchdown of the spring 2021 season. I mean, it is the referees probably first or second game too. Yes. You know, they, they're working out the rust. Yes. First and 10, Hartman gonna keep it again. Tyler churning and gets it down to about the 15 yard line. Hauled down by Ethan Albers. Albers. And hopefully they didn't hear me say that. I don't want to get beat <laughs> up in the parking lot. <laughs> First and five, or we second and five. Down to the Rochelle 15 yard line where the Cavaliers will have it second and five. The LP uh, kind of speed it up a little, no huddle now, Brandon. Yeah, they're like, just going right in, getting not rhythm. letting them set. Yeah. Not letting the hubs get in movement or form or substitute any players. There is Carrico, who has some running room. He's gonna get in for the touchdown. Carrico, Carrico the touchdown. He ran up the middle and then bounced off and saw a lot of running room and it was a 15 yard touchdown run by Matt Carrico. And that's an LP touchdown. And the Cavaliers leading nine nothing. That LP touchdown brought to you by Town & Country Services. Doing whatever it takes 24-7. Plumbing, electric, heating, and cooling for over 100 years. Go to townandcountryservices.com to find out more. 9 nothing LP on a 15-yard touchdown run by Carrico. And exactly, exactly like we said, just had to find a way into the end zone. Hit that bounce back and wide open. Yeah, Carrico was going to run up the middle, but bounced it out. Oh, it was a bad snap. Bad snap. We're going to try to run it in for a two-point conversion. And no, they stopped him. Reese Kurtz was hit just outside. Two-point conversion is no good. For yeah, the Drake Weber leading him as a blocker. Drake comes up a little shaken up. That was a valiant effort to take what could have been a, a big mistake or, you know, a blunder picks right. it up and almost, you know, did something really awesome. So 9 to nothing. The Cavaliers, most importantly, get on the scoreboard with that touchdown. And uh, let's take a short break. 7.02 left in the third. 9 nothing. LP over Rochelle. Back right after this. Want good news? It's time for some. Bill Walsh Honda in Ottawa is celebrating the new year with the Honda 0% sales event. For the first time in history, Honda is offering 0% interest for 60 months. Yes, you pay no interest for five whole years. On the all-new 2021 Pilot Special Edition, one of the hottest and safest mid-SUVs in the market, the 2020 CRV, and even the sporty, spacious 2020 HRV. Even get 0% for 48 months on the 2021 CRV and 2021 Passport. Our inventory has never been bigger, with nearly 150 new Hondas in stock, ready for immediate delivery, plus a great selection of Honda certified pre-owned units. You can complete your entire purchase or lease experience online in the Toys Your Choice at Bill Walsh. See the entire lineup of the new, sporty, versatile, and ready-for-anything Hondas during the Bill Walsh Honda 0% sales event. Enjoy a fast, fun, and friendly experience with our team at Bill Walsh Honda, Route 23 and I-80 in Ottawa, or at BillWalshHonda.com. Qualified credit. Not all buyers will qualify. Financing for Honda American Finance. 
L.W. Schneider wants you. L.W. Schneider is holding a hiring event at the Peru Mall today from 11 to 6. L.W. Schneider is hiring all shifts for CNC operators, quality inspectors, and CNC maintenance positions. Experienced candidates can make up to 20 bucks an hour or more with benefits. You in school find a great part-time job? How about Monday through Friday from 4 to 8 p.m.? Be there today, 11 to 6 at the Peru Mall. Don't want to wait? Just go to lwschneider.com slash careers. L.W. Schneider is a locally family owned company and equal opportunity employer. This is where you go when you need to know. 1039 WLPO. Starve Rock News Talk and Classic Rock. Back here at Howard Fellow Stadium and the kickoff by LP gets inside the 20 and a big hit by Levi Reed for the Cavaliers. Knocks the hubs down at the 17 yard line. So Rochelle will have it first and 10 at their own 17. 9 nothing LP. There's a runoff left tackle. Not much there for Rochelle. That was Eric Perseno. And uh, we've said that a lot for Rochelle today. Not much there. Gain of a yard. They give him a yard. That was generous. That was pretty generous. Yeah, they rounded up and gave him a yard on that carry. <laughs> Second down and nine for the Hubs at their own 18-yard line. Second and nine. It's actually... <laughs> it's crazy, but this is actually one of the better starting uh, drive spots from Rochelle. They've had a few drives that they've started inside their own 10-yard line. I mean, this is nothing to write home about, obviously, but second and nine at their own 18. They're going to pass. Looking, throwing it up, and Trayvon Hunter interception. What a play by Trayvon Hunter. Down the play by number 34, Trayvon Hunter. Wow. Highlight reel interception by Trayvon Hunter. Great play in the secondary. Went right up and here. got it, Brandon, and hauled it in for the interception. Not only did he jump straight up, but he jumps, dives, grabs it one hand, pulls it with the other one yeah, as he right. goes down. That was awesome. That was like Deion Sanders-ish. That was. That was prime time style and during the afternoon here. Trayvon Hunter with the play of the game right there so far. Nine to nothing LP and the defense makes another big play. Offense right back on the field now looking to add on. 6-10 to go in the third. Cavaliers leading nine nothing over the Hubs. This defense has come up so big yeah. all game. Blanking the Hubs so far. Hartman under center. And Tyler gonna pass. Wind at his back. Oh, he was hit as he threw. He was hit as he threw, and luckily there wasn't anybody near that because the ball was just kind of flailing up in the air. A nice play by Rochelle. I think it was Braden Alfano hit uh, Hartman right when he threw it, and it goes incomplete. Thankfully for LP, that ball fell harmlessly to the turf. It was almost like that first punt from yes. Rochelle where it just yes. went straight up and down. That's <laughs> what that throw looked like. Second and ten coming up for the Cavaliers. At the Rochelle 35-yard line, halfway through the third quarter, 9-0 LP. Tyler Hartman under center, in motion is Hunter. Hartman goes back to Carrico, and he's down about the 30, maybe the 31-yard line. They'll mark him right at the 30, so a gain of five. That'll set up a third and five for the Cavaliers. Well, we're bringing Cavaliers, up old Cavaliers NFL Cavaliers football comparisons. Carrico has been like the Jerome Bettis, the bus yeah. for LaSalle Peru Cavaliers today. He's uh, been uh, the workhorse. He's got their one touchdown. And again, uh, LP playing without Carlos Larios, who uh, was uh, the big fullback for them last year, big gainer. So we'll see. There might be a fullback controversy here with uh, Carrico and Larios, an embarrassment of riches, if you will. Carrico back up the middle on a third and five, and Matt is stopped after about a two-yard gain. So LP now has a fourth down play at the Rochelle 28. Now, Drake Weber has the leg for this field goal, but it looks like LP is going to go for it on a fourth and three at the Rochelle 28-yard line. It is a two-possession game right now, nine to nothing. Yeah, at this point, I don't think they're really losing much, even if they no. don't get it. Because the defense has been, I'd rest on that too. Yeah, for sure. See if Hartman tries to do a, a hard count and get a, a first down off that. He will not. He's going to pass. Looking, throwing deep for Nolan Hamilton. Just out of the reach of the big guy. Oh, we're going to get a pass interference on Rochelle. A pass interference call coming against the Hubs as Hartman went looking for Hamilton, and he was tackled in the end zone. 
It's got to be a pass interference call. If it came from the back judge, it is. Pass interference on rule. So that'll be an LP first down. And Hamilton, 6'5", 165, yeah. looks every bit of it. <laughs> he looked very graceful even while he was getting hit. So he didn't uh, haul it in, but very effective. Nolan draws the pass interference, and that's going to put the Cavaliers inside the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. By the way, that failed extra point for the Cavaliers was brought to you by uh, an extra point attempt, I guess, Financial Plus Credit Union. So hopefully the Cavaliers will have another Financial Plus Credit Union conversion attempt in moments. They're knocking on the door, first and 10 at the 14 of Rochelle. Hartman going to run the option. He keeps it, bounces off two tackles, cannot get away from a third. Tyler back to the line of scrimmage. Too bad he didn't see... Too bad he didn't see Trayvon Hunter right behind him. If yeah. he would have pitched it, oh, he was gone for a touchdown. Loss of one on the Looking play. at my weather app. By the way, the weather today is holding out pretty well, and uh, Town & Country Services sponsoring a weather check we of the game. The Whether it's hot, cold, dark, or light, Town & Country Services doing whatever it takes 24-7. Go to townandcountryservices.com to find out more. According to my phone, it's 63 right now. Uh, eh. Feels a little chillier with the wind, but uh, still not a bad day, and no precipitation just yet. We'll see. That was the best part of that whole yes. sentence. Hartman, another keeper. Tyler is inside uh, about the 10-yard line. Quarterback keeper. Kind of a slow-developing QB keeper for Tyler Hartman, but effective nonetheless. Give him about six yards on that carry. Next time they're at school, he needs to buy his uh, offensive line extra milks, extra <laughs> cookies, whatever they like because they've been doing great for him getting these extra yards. Yeah, him and uh, opening holes for him and Matt Carrico, uh, the big guys up front. And here's a big play, third down and six LP at the Rochelle 10-yard line. Hartman going to pitch it. There's a double handoff. Trayvon Hunter. Trayvon's at the five-yard line. And he's close to a first down. Yep, they marked it. First down, Cavaliers. Hunter with the carry. Did that double reverse with Weber and Hunter. Six-yard gain on the play results in first and goal. And it's first and goal, LP at the Rochelle four-yard line. So LP with four cracks at this one to get it in from the four-yard line. And the clock now under three minutes. You get to a point here where the clock becomes LP's friend as this one heads towards the fourth quarter and a 9 nothing lead. Hartman under center. Carrico in the backfield. And Tyler hands it off to Carrico. Looks like he's in. Let's see. No, no. His knee may have yep. been down. Oh, Just shy. Carry. Three yards on the carry, so it'll be second down in inches. Three and a half yards on the carry. I mean, they're inside the one. One half yard line there for the Cavaliers. So just outside the goal line, PA announcer Mike Porter, who will be joining me on the road games this year doing the PA. The voice is what I'll call him, Mike Porter. Says it at the half yard line is what we'll go with. He nailed it with that. It's he did. At the half. <laughs> half of a half. Hartman keeps it and gets an easy half yard. We'll give him a yard. We round up. That's a one yard TD run for Tyler Hartman. Quarterback keeper and the Cavaliers punch it in. That LP touchdown brought to you by Town & Country Services. Doing whatever it takes 24-7. Plumbing, electric, heating, and cooling. For over 100 years, go to townandcountryservices.com to find out more. 156 to go in the third. LP leading Rochelle 15 to nothing. And let's see if they go for two here. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go for two. And it's 15. Going to try to make it 17 to nothing, which would be uh, a three-possession game. If I'm doing the math correctly. Uh-oh. That made it. Yeah, it's some music going on. There's a pitch to Hunter. Trayvon loses his footing, just cannot get in. So he uh, turned it upfield, and the run fails. He still ended on the half. Yeah, he did get back to the half. <laughs> so LP, though, leads 15 to nothing over the Rochelle Hubs. Let's step aside be right back with more LP football here in 103.9 WLPO. Cavaliers 15, Hubs nothing. When a play breaks down on the football field, you've got the rest of the game to make up for it. 
something breaks down at home, you need prompt and professional service. That's why at Town & Country Services, their phones are manned 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, to ensure that your problems and questions with plumbing, heating, and cooling are all taken care of promptly and professionally. Town & Country Services offer free estimates and affordable rates. Their licensed professionals and friendly staff have been a staple in the Illinois Valley since 1919. Give them a call anytime in Tonica at 815-442-3415 or Princeton at 815-872-2200. The Illinois Valley and Star Rock Country wake up with Rod and Tom. Mornings on 103.9 WLPO. Star Rock News Talk and Classic Rock. Yeah, Rod and Tom will be back in on uh, Monday morning and uh, had a lot of fun earlier this morning doing the uh, Spring Savings Radio auction with Rod Thoris, and hopefully you're able to take advantage of a lot of the great deals and uh, can stop on by as we speak at the station and uh, pick up your items. You can also stop by Monday and pick up items as well. So, again, a lot of fun saving a lot of you money with the uh, spring savings auction held this morning. We're back here. Drake Rubber with an end over end kick, and Drake is going to get his first touchback of this season. With the it's uh, the such a round. weapon to have in high school football to have a kicker that can First do that. Take over. You do not understand how important it is until you actually see it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, college and pros, you tend to take it for granted. High school, definitely not. But a uh, huge weapon with the Drake Weber with the touchback. So it means Rochelle has to go 80 yards to uh, try to get on this board. And, man, their offense just has uh, not done anything against this LP defense today. 15-0 Cavs, 156 to go here in the third. They go to the shotgun, more, more like the pistol, I guess, open it up a little bit more, and the quarterback oh, keeps yeah. it, gets five yeah. yards on the carry. By number 23, Luke Mortis and Drake Weber in on the tackle there. Four yard gain in the if play, my tallies are right, I have Rochelle, Rochelle with only 36 in yards in the whole game. That sounds about right. It has been uh, ugly on the Rochelle offensive side of the football, but uh, very, very pretty, I guess, if you're an LP Cavalier fan of the defense as uh, they have come up big this afternoon. That's a gain of four for their quarterback, Josh Lloyd. It's second down and six. Now he goes back under center. And they go Harvey off left tackle, and he is tackled immediately by Drake Weber. So two stud athletes Harvey right there. Harvey Weber Harvey brings Harvey down Harvey. Weber. Only a gain of one for Ben Harvey. One and it'll be third and five now from Rochelle's 25. for LP. So another third and fairly long for Rochelle. That's been a key today. LP's defense continually forcing Rochelle into a third and long situation. The entire game. Yeah. Almost from every possession. Yep. Under a minute to play in the third. Rochelle with a third and five. They're going to run it to Harvey, and he's short of the first down. There to make the play. Look like Luke Murtis again. Brought oh. down by number 44, Murtis, and number 23, Weber. He's been everywhere he for La Salle Peru. Yeah, Luke Murtis, number 44. Been playing that uh, right end spot for, for the Cavaliers. So this is really a do or die here for Rochelle. I think they're going to let this one go to the uh, end of the quarter. And 15 to nothing, LP with the lead. LP putting up 12 unanswered, well, 15 unanswered this game, but 12 points in that third quarter. And we're going to switch ends of the field. We'll take a break. Be back. The end of the third quarter. 12 minutes to go. LP in control. 15 to nothing over Rochelle. Back with the fourth and final quarter after this. There's a line drive in the left field. This has got a chance. It's at the wall. It's gone. The boys of summer are back on the field in Jupiter, Florida. 2021 Cardinal Baseball has begun. Get ready for another season of home runs, hits, and unforgettable moments. Enjoy each one on 103.9 WLPO, Star Rock News, Talk, and Classic Rock, and your home for 2021 Cardinal Baseball. Buying a home is exciting. It can also be intimidating. But now with the Ownership Advantage Mortgage from Financial Plus. Finance up to 95% with no prepayment penalty. No mortgage point. Payroll deduction is offered. You can do weekly or bi-weekly payments. And you can rest easy knowing your mortgage will be held locally by Financial Plus. Take advantage today. Find FPCU with locations in Ottawa, Peru, Mendota, Morse, or Diamond. And online at financialplus.org. Office available to FPCU members. Rates, terms, and conditions are subject to change. And based on credit worthiness, qualification, and collateral conditions. Loans subject to approval. Financial Plus Credit Union is equal housing 
an opportunity lens on the NBA if you're not. Agriculture is a robust industry with endless opportunity. This is Ivy instructor Willard Moss. I operate a family farm where we raise corn, soybeans, and hay, and I've been teaching 16 years. With agriculture flourishing in LaSalle Bureau and Southern County, an ag degree can lead to a career in management, sales, service, research, or production. Entry-level pay averages over $40,000 a year. Google IVCC Ag to get started today. No place so close can take you so far. IVCC. Switching is easy. We do it all the time. We switch on the lights. We switch TV channels. Some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, State Farm agent Jessica Strauch, right here in Peru, can switch you over so you can start saving today. Jessica and her team are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Jessica Strauch, it's easy to switch and save. This is Jessica oh, Strauch. Really? Give me a call. When you want the real deal, well, like a good neighbor, State Farm is here. Listen wherever you go. FM 1039, AM 1220, streaming at ClassicHits1039WLPO.com and with the free WLPO app for your mobile device. And we're back here as LP makes a play on a fourth down and turns back the Rochelle Hubs. Cavalier defense gives the ball back to their offense at the 28-yard line. So Rochelle... After the uh, end of the quarter, went for it and uh, went nowhere, really. The Cavalier offense can really salt this one away now. Up 15 to nothing, first and 10 at the hub, 28. Hartman with a handoff to Carrico, and there goes that pile moving forward again inside the 25-yard line, down to about the 23. So the Cavaliers, with the carry, defense the pitching the shutout, and the offense uh, adding two scores here in the second half. Carry. 15 to nothing for the Cavaliers. The Did they turn on their radio? They heard us say, hey, just punch in some scores and you got this? Right. All right, that was the second half adjustment was just uh, punch in those scores. Defense, keep doing what you're doing, and that has been the case. And now LP will uh, definitely take their time here. The clock is on their side as they look to put a win in the books over the Rochelle Hubs. Hartman under center. Second down and five. Tyler going to option it. Oh, a dangerous pitch. Good catch by Whitfield. Sean turns it in and gets it to about the 21-yard line. Uh, that was a heck of a catch by Whitfield. With the carry. That could have been very dangerous. Yeah. And he made positive yardage out of that. So a uh, gain of about two. It'll be third down and three for the Cavaliers. It'll be third and three for the Cavaliers. They'll be knocking on the door of the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. Third and three. Four down territory for the Cavs, no doubt about it. Hartman under center. See if it's a Hartman or Carrico getting it. It'll be Hartman with a pitch, and Whitfield another great catch. Sean's at the 10, the 5, touchdown! Whitfield made a great catch. Broke one tackle and then turned on the burners. Sean Whitfield, 21-yard run. And the Cavaliers are rolling here at Howard Fellow Stadium. He must have some Gorilla Glue or some sticky tape or something on his gloves because the way those last two pitches, miraculous catches to get yardage. Yeah, Whitfield with the big run. 21-0 LP. And that's another Cavalier Town & Country touchdown. That LP touchdown brought to you by Town & Country Services, doing whatever it takes 24-7. Plumbing, electric, heating, and cooling for over 100 years. Go to townandcountryservices.com to find out more. And just another issue on the snap. And Reese Kurtz throws it to Drake Weber who breaks a tackle. And Drake's gonna get in with a two point conversion. Drake Weber with a wow. two point conversion for the Cavaliers. What an effort by Kurtz and Weber after they had issues again with a PAT attempt. So Weber with the pass catch from Kurtz and LP gets the two point conversion. Just how they drew it up. That two-point conversion brought to you by Financial Plus Credit Union. They belong to you, and that's the plus at Financial Plus Credit Union in Peru, Ottawa, Mendota, Morris, and Diamond. We'll keep it right here. LP 23, Rochelle nothing here in the first quarter, not first quarter, fourth quarter of play. So uh, just an exciting, I mean, we saw two big-time athletic plays in those last two plays with Whitfield in his run, and then Drake Weber showing his athleticism. You know, looked like he was going to be stopped in the backfield, broke a couple tackles, and was tackled into the end zone, got the two-point conversion. And the Cavaliers having fun here with a big win 
are heading to a big win, 23 to nothing over Rochelle. So uh, the Cavaliers, their new turf, suiting them quite well. Definitely, and like you said, two big, fantastic plays that obviously make us want to watch another game. It's first yeah. quarter. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the first game for us, the first game in a while. And uh, LP really picking up where they left off in their last football season, which, of course, ended with a playoff appearance, and then they lost to Rochester. But uh, the Cavalier football program uh, posting some wins here as of late and look like they're going to get on the win column here. Weber with another kick in the end zone, but a uh, referee blew his whistle. I don't know if there was a false start in the Cavaliers. So that'll just challenge Drake five yards back to try to kick it into the end zone again. I'm not sure what, I don't see any flags on the field, but I could definitely hear a whistle blowing. Yeah, I think they're gonna move LP back five oh, yards. Totally on the Cavaliers. I think that's, is that LP's first penalty of the second half? I know it they is. had a few in the first half. They had three in the first half for 15 yards, just false start, things like that. This is their first one. So in they've, the second. Uh, they've cleaned that up too in the second half and that has helped the Cavaliers extend this lead that at one time was three to nothing and is now 23 to nothing. So again, let's see if Drake can get another uh, touchback despite being back five yards. And he puts a boot in it. It will come up a little short. Taking about the nine yard line for the hubs, the 20, the 25. Trayvon Hunter with a tackle on special teams. The return made by Taft the return, Trey Taft of Rochelle. 34, Trayvon Hunter. Trayvon Hunter is just having fun. Catching he, the ball, making some runs, tackling people. He's just out there having fun. We're going to have a tough time, uh, Brandon, picking our player of the game. I know there is a few candidates. Trayvon definitely being one of them, and uh, during our post-game show, uh, we will have the first state bank player of the game. 23-0, LP still has something here to take care of business to finish this one. 10-11 to go, Rochelle gonna pass, he's in trouble, and hammer down! Let's give uh, the sack there and to Weston Wenzel. 48, Levi Reed and, number 55, and Levi Michael Reed was in the area. LP feasting on the quarterback there. They figured Rochelle probably will have to come out and pass a little bit. Nine on the play brings up so LP's defense continuing to impress here this afternoon. It'll be second down and 19 now for Rochelle. I do know if picking the player of the game is the hardest decision that we have all day, we're having a great yes. Saturday afternoon because this is going to be fun deciding who to pick. Everybody's had a great game. Yeah, all along uh, the defense, obviously, with the shutout so far and uh, some offensive standouts. 23-0 LP. Rochelle going to pass again. He's got a little more time. He did at, one, at first. Tyler Hartman. The quarterback, quarterback sacks the other quarterback. The field by number 15, Tyler How about Hartman. that? Hartman with the sack inside the 10-yard line. Hartman taking down all Josh all Lloyd. To the 10 -yard line. That was just a tough move. He got around the line or the guy that was trying to block him and ran over the quarterback. So Hartman uh, adding to his resume here to be maybe the player of the game. And it is third in a country mile, third and 28. The first down marker is all the way at the 28-yard line. Or no, no, it's at the 38, yeah. And uh, the line of scrimmage is at the 10. Third and 28. Clock is running down to 8.30 to go here. It's all LP. In the shotgun is Josh Lloyd. He's in trouble again and just has to throw it away. LP was bringing the house. Ball's incomplete for the Hubs. Hartman was there. Also putting pressure was Byron Verdun. Three, fourth and 28. And oh Rochelle's God. really got no other choice, but I mean, they have a choice to go for, but got to think even down 23-0, they're probably going to punt this one. I don't think there's anything <laughs> else you can do here. It's hard to draw off a play for 28 yards. It is. In it is. even professional football, it's hard yeah. to uh, have a play uh, that you think you can get 28 to 30 yards on it. And the way this Cavaliers defense yeah. has been playing, there's, there's no reason. Punt going towards the sideline, and it will stay in bounds and takes a Rochelle bounce. Uh, Whitfield lets it go, and a uh, really nice punt, actually, from almost their own end zone. Cavaliers, will take over Cavaliers first and 10, and 10 at their own 46-yard line. It's been all LP today. 23 to nothing, Cavaliers, 8.15 to go in this game. Yeah. 
And this could be the last drive of the game for the Cavaliers. Maybe of the football game if they have their way. First and 10 Cavs, 23-0 over Rochelle. Brandon and myself will have our uh, post-game show coming up. We'll have the Bill Walsh Automotive Group drive of the game and the first A Bank player of the game as well. Tyler Hartman back under center for the Cavaliers. Tyler going to keep it, and uh, he's up near midfield right at the LP logo. Hartman with the carry. And, yeah, they'll mark it right at the 50. Gain of four. Four-yard gain on the play. Midfield logo featuring the red LB with the white trim. I guess I should mention that. And the end zones here, if you haven't seen the new turf, uh, the end zones are red with uh, the white lettering of Cavaliers across both end zones. So beautiful stadium. Just got, in my humble opinion, even more beautiful with the turf. I think it looks great. Even if you don't look like football, you right. should come out and check this out. <laughs> yes, this is beautiful. Should. Second down and five coming up for LP. They're going to take their time, as they should. Hartman gives it to Carrico, who uh, hops over the uh, line of scrimmage for two yards, maybe. With the carry up the middle, two-yard gain. But how do you not like football? I don't know. I don't know, Brandon. That doesn't make sense. Nope. Down by number 50, <laughs> Alfano. Alfano again with a tackle. Third and four for the Cavaliers. Third and four, long four. I guess it would be a long three, a short four, really, for the LP Cavaliers. Seven minutes and counting to go. LP led three to nothing at the half. Then they, they scored twice in the third quarter and have added another touchdown here in the fourth for good measure. Rochelle really has not even threatened at all to score in this one. They've not been able to move the ball, not no. been able to stop LP. They've stopped them from scoring touchdowns early right. on, but did not stop them right. from moving this, the ball. This, this game really could have been even uglier than 23 nothing if LP uh, could have had a couple more drives Hartman finish in that first half. Tyler Hartman with a carry, and Tyler gets it down about the 41-yard line, so a gain of seven. So Hartman keeps adding up the yardage. And we're under six and a half minutes to go. So this is where it gets real weird this year because there's not as many games, short right. games, but you don't want your players to get injured moving on to the next game. So if you're up 23 nothing, last few minutes left, you take them out and let other players get an opportunity? I, I was thinking that same thing, but you got you know, if you got seniors like Tyler Hartman who are limited into how many more games they get to play in their high school career, I thought the same thing, Brandon. Uh, I think barring a running clock, I think you keep your guys in there, you know. They're already getting a short schedule. Uh, and of course, LP lost one game already off the schedule. But, yeah, I thought the same thing. So, Yeah, I would agree with you. I mean, Tyler Hartman, Drake Weber, Weber yeah. we, there's so many players that have put, you know, a lot into this program right. and, you know, all their dedication. So it's kind of like you, you got to let them play. That run by uh, Hartman there went for about three yards, second down and seven for the Cavs at the Rochelle 38-yard line. 23 nothing LP as we're under five and a half minutes to play. And there's a handoff, and Carrico breaks two tackles. He's in the secondary. 25-20, 15-10-5, hit down just shy of the end zone. All the way down inside the five-yard line. So Matt Carrico with another big run. Hit down by Nice. And it'll be a first and goal for the LP Cavaliers down near the Rochelle two-yard line. Just like that, the Cavaliers back in the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. Carrico, I got to think, is close, if not over 100 yards in this game. Yeah, he has to be. He's uh, added up as fast as I can. <laughs> no, he's, I wasn't he's, uh, needing to put pressure on you there to do the math, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, Carrico had the you know the touchdown run of 15 yards. That one went for 20 plus, and he's had a lot of runs of five yards here, seven, eight yards there, and they reward Carrico with the handoff, and he gets in from the two-yard line. Touchdown, LP. Matt Carrico, a two-yard run. Touchdown. And the Cavaliers have really uh, pulled away here in the second half and lead now 29 to nothing. That LP touchdown once again brought to you by Town & Country Services. Doing whatever it takes 24-7. Plumbing, electric, heating, and cooling for over 100 years. Go to townandcountryservices.com. 
to find out more. And let's see. This has been the one downside, I'd say, Brandon, is these uh, PAT attempts today. Let's see if they can get a clean snap and a clean hold and a kick. The snap is down. The hold is down. Nope. It was blocked. It was blocked. So uh, still a struggle. Extra point is blocked. On the extra point attempts, the Financial Plus Credit Union extra point attempt is no good. So the kick was blocked. And LP rolling, they leading. Uh, they are leading 29 to nothing over Rochelle. Let's take a look at a uh, Subway scoreboard update. See if we can get a get an update on the uh, men's basketball. Oregon State at halftime. It's a defensive struggle there, Brandon. Oregon State 24-16 over Loyola, so uh, offense hard to come by in that one. Last score I had heard is 18-16, so they've scored the last six points trying to <laughs> move up there, but that's slow moving because I heard yeah. that update quite a few minutes ago. Speaking of not a lot of scoring, uh, over at Ottawa, last check at halftime, Sycamore led Ottawa by a score of six to nothing up. Ah, I have an update there, and uh, Sycamore now pulling away a little bit in the third quarter. Spartans leading Ottawa by a score of 20 to nothing in the third quarter. Sterling Newman was up 28-0 at halftime over Bureau Valley, so uh, the Comets obviously always, always tough, and uh, this year probably no different. And you, you mentioned off the air there's a football game at Mendota today, but it's not featuring Mendota. It's Byron against Oregon, and that game was tied at 8-8 at half. So the big northern, I don't know, it's because of Mendota with the turf, you, you know, obviously – Maybe some other fields aren't in the greatest shape, natural grass fields. So the Trojans offering up their field to uh, two other big northern teams today. That's exactly what I had heard from, I know, i got a custodian buddy. Yeah, that works always in helps to have a, have a guy. Always, always. Yeah. And uh, George told me, he was like, oh, we're going to let them use our fields because their fields aren't playable. So. Right. Weber with the uh, end over end kick, and it's taken at the five for the Hubs. He's at 10 to 15 to 20. Gets around the corner, 25, 30, and out to about the 35-yard line. Finally, the Rochelle Hubs have something to cheer for there. That was probably their best play of the game. Trey Taft. And uh, the kicker, Weber, actually had to make the tackle. 4.56 to go in the ball game. It's 29-0 LP. Now, at this point, the only thing really is, you know, the LP defense wants that shutout. There's always a lot of pride in uh, shutting the other team out. You that's, come this far with only 4.56 to go. That's exactly what they're playing for now. Mm -hmm. Rochelle on their end, they'd like to dent the scoreboard, obviously. There's a handoff in the backfield, not a lot there. Have to see him sort out the pile. Look like number two, Eric two, Brasino with the Brasino. Down by number That's a great Weber. thing about sports, though. A lot of these fans here are probably, oh, this game's over. One There's nothing really to play for. If you're on that field, you still have something to play for. Rochelle's own 35-yard line. Give Brasino one yard on the play. Second down and nine. Hartman gets a hand. That's nice. Tyler Hartman comes out, and uh, Carica will come in. LP faithful, given... Uh, Props to Tyler Hartman, who's had a heck of a game. And there's a handoff, and, man, LP still hitting hard. Their defense out there. And uh, not nothing there. The ball came loose, but uh, the player was already down. Gensler with the carry. I saw Carson Rowicki, the big guy out there. Brought down by a host of Cavs. No, yard, no gain on the play. It'd be third and nine for Rochelle. Carson plays both ways, a senior lineman. And no gain on the play, so it'll be third down and nine for Rochelle at their own 35-yard line. Just a uh, thorough domination today by the LP Cavaliers. Rochelle's not been able to do anything nope. on either side of the ball. There's a handoff to the Brasino second man through, Brasino. By number 75, Marwicki. And got it out to about the 39-yard line. Marwicki with the tackle. And a nice applause for Trayvon Hunter, who comes out of the game for LP. Uh, he's had a fantastic game on both sides of the football. Probably the play of the game still was that, that interception that he had, just a highlight reel interception for Trayvon. I think it changed the momentum completely yeah, to did. LP side, yeah. and it was athletically amazing to yeah. watch. Yeah, that was early in the third quarter when this one was still a one-possession game. Hand off to Racino, and uh, he's close to the first down marker for Rochelle. I don't know. We're 
They're on the opposite side of the stadium here from where we are. With the carry. I think they're going to give him a first down. There's no indication yet, though. And they give it to him, which I think is what only their, the is that their third first down of the game. The That's round. their third. Wow. The LP Cavaliers on all facets of the game dominating today. 29-0, Rochelle with two and a half minutes to go with the football. As uh, LP looks to move to 1-0 on this short season, will be on the road next week against Plano. And there's a handoff. Oh, big hit for the Cavaliers making that tackle was number 48, Levi Reed. by number 48, Levi Reed. And another player, that's Jason Merwicki, coming out, getting a nice hand from the Cavaliers. So that seems to be Coach Jose Medina's. Yeah. Just kind of slowly do the process <laughs> of taking seniors out, putting in yep. players that need some, some tick to get better and improve. And a nice, knowledgeable LP fan base, too, giving uh, the kids a hand as they come off the field. And there's a handoff to uh, number 34, Cody stover Cullum. That's his first oh, carry. carry of the game. And I think Rochelle's kind of doing the same. Yep. Yep. Didn't quite see who got that tackle for the Cavs. From the Cavalier, 47-yard line. And Joey Shepard, I believe, number eight, came from the secondary. One minute to play. One minute to play. Third down and one here for Rochelle. Going to be a game that doesn't even take two hours, it would appear. And the carry brought down by number 48, Reed. Reed with a tackle, but uh, Rochelle does get a first down. down. Rochelle, but they're uh, still well out of scoring range. They're at their at the LP 46. This is the first time they've been on the LP side of the field, I think, all afternoon, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I believe so. Yeah, I don't think they've yeah. crossed the 50 at all. Nope. So their fourth first down of the game, and uh, maybe one more play. Rochelle's in no hurry. Looks like LP is going to win this one 29 to nothing. Barring a big play to wrap things up for Rochelle. This was an impressive way to start the season. Yes, it was for the Cavaliers, their home opener, season opener, against a, a program that is always strong in the Rochelle Hubs. Handoff off the left side, the nothing there. And the Cavaliers with a big 29 to nothing win over Rochelle. All Cavaliers from the opening whistle of this game. We'll be back with uh, some post-game numbers. Cavaliers, Cavaliers over the Hubs, 29-0. Back after this with a post-game show on 103.9 WLPO, 12.20 a.m. Your home for LP Cavalier football. Next Saturday, Easy Race, Ben and Steve Mine with Ben, Stanley, and Andrew Utrecht. Hi, this is Jan with First Day Bank. Need to split a lunch tab with friends? Pay the babysitter. Request living expenses from roommates? You can do all those and more today using Zelle, right from our First Day Bank mobile app. With Zelle, money moves directly between bank accounts in minutes, not days, making it fast, safe, and easy to send and receive money. Want more information? Check it out at firstdaybank.com to get started. First Day Bank, member FDIC. Fuel your day with one of Subway's new protein bowls. It's your go-to footlongs, but in a bowl. Build any of your favorite footlongs into a bowl with the same protein of meat, fresh veggies, cheese, and sauce, just without the bread. Try chicken bacon ranch, meatball marinara, or a steak and cheese. Add your favorite fresh veggies to the mix, and it all adds up into a packed protein bowl. Double up on the protein for only $2 more. Get it all at your local Subway in Spring Valley, Peru, LaSalle, Ogilvy, Ottawa, or Marseilles. Jeremy Aiken, Brandon LaShawn's back here at Howard Fellow Stadium. LP with a victory, 29 to nothing over the Rochelle Hubs. The uh, scoring summary went like this. Cavaliers got on the board first, 546 in the first quarter. Drake Weber, 35-yard field goal. That was it, LP leading 3-0 at the half. Cavaliers got the ball to start the second half, and they punched it in, a 15-yard touchdown run by Matt Carrico. The uh, PAT was no good. Then with 156 of the third, Tyler Hartman, a one-yard run. The PAT failed on the run. 
Cavaliers were up 15-0 after three. They had two more scores in the fourth. Sean Whitfield, a 21-yard run. Drake Weber, a two-point conversion on the reception at 10-17 of the fourth. And then Carrico adds another touchdown at the uh, very end of the uh, fourth quarter, well, five minutes or so left. The PAT was no good. LP wins 29 to nothing. Each team with one turnover. LP had a fumble inside the Rochelle two-yard line, but uh, Trayvon Hunter then got an interception in the third, forcing the lone turnover for the Cavaliers. 29 nothing, LP over Rochelle. And Brandon, uh, let's talk about some numbers here. For LP on the ground, amazing. Tyler Hartman, 24 carries, 100 yards. Matt Carrico, one yard ahead of him, 21 carries, 101. So between the two of them, 201 yards from my tallies. Right. I'm going to take those to the grave. That's how <laughs> we're going to go here. But 201 yards between the two of those LP players, that's fantastic for them. Yeah, great game all around for the Cavaliers. Defense gets a shutout, and uh, they win 29 to nothing over Rochelle. We'll step away and come back, and when we come back, We'll wrap things up by uh, giving you our Bill Walsh Automotive Group Drive of the Game and our first State Bank Player of the Game. The Cavaliers victorious here at Howard Fellow Stadium, 29 to nothing over the Rochelle Hubs. Back after this. Uh, who's ready for golf yes, season? I'll take the new Tribune will make sure you're ready to tee <laughs> off this spring. You'll find the 2021 golf preview section in Wednesday's News Tribune. See what our local golf courses have to offer. If you're interested in trying a different course or two this year, make sure to purchase a Star Rock Country Golf Discount Card for only $79. You'll get one round of golf with a free card at 18 area golf courses. Visit Newstrib.com today to purchase yours and check out the 2021 golf preview in Wednesday's News Tribune. Signs that spring may finally be here. Piles of snow and salt have disappeared, and in their place is a huge mountain. It's bigger than ever. You get the idea? It's a big pile of mulch at Shearer Tree Service. Shearer Tree Service has always helped with your plants and trees, and now they're your go-to for premium hardwood mulch with no chemicals or dyes. You can buy by the yard and either pick it up or have it delivered. Check them out at ShearerTree.com or just call 223-TREE. That's 223-TREE. <laughs> Jeremy Aiken, Brandon Lachance back here at Howard Fellows Stadium. The Cavaliers with the win, 29 to nothing over Rochelle. And uh, Cavaliers get four touchdowns and a field goal. And it made it very tough to pick tonight's, or to this afternoon's First State Bank player of the game. The player of the game brought to you by First State Bank, locally owned, committed to exceptional service and banking pro products like Casasa checking in on the go mobile banking. To learn more, contact the winning team at First State Bank, member FDIC. Uh, Brandon, obviously we had quite a few players to choose from, but let's go ahead and go with the junior running back. Uh, really a name that uh, maybe kind of came out of nowhere to some Cav fans. Matt Carrico, a 5'9 junior, had two touchdowns over 100 yards and had the first touchdown of the game, a uh, great effort, where he hit the line of scrimmage, hit a pile, and had the vision to bounce it out and get into the end zone for 15 yards. So Matt Carrico, our player of the game. Yeah, he just had the vision. He was reading the gaps. He knew where he needed to be, needed to know where he needed to go, and that is very important in a for a junior running back. And he obviously turned it up, got into the end zone when they couldn't score. They kept getting shut down, couldn't get in the end zone, and he broke that, and then after that they just ran with it and got in there as many times as they wanted. Congratulations to uh, Matt Carrico, our first aid bank player of the game. Bill Walsh Automotive Group, drive of the game. Today's drive of the game is brought to you by the Bill Walsh Automotive Group. Find your next ride at BillWalsh.com without any driving at all. And I, I would say, Brandon, that uh, I would say the first scoring drive because we talked about at halftime, LP just had a field goal lead. Rochelle, all they needed was a couple breaks and they'd get the lead and who knows what happened. But I think that first drive of the second half, Carrico finishing it off with a 15-yard run. Once LP finally got over that hurdle of not being able to get in, get in the end zone, it was all LP after that. It's like they saw the light at the end of the tunnel yeah. and just wanted to stay in the light. Like, oh, <laughs> right. and just kept going right. with it. Right. So I think that was definitely the Bill Walsh drive of the game where LP was finally able to finish off a drive with the six points 
instead of a field goal, and that finished off with a Matt Carrico run, and the Cavaliers were well, were well on their way to winning after that uh, with a score of 29 to nothing. We'll take one more break, and we'll wrap things up here as the fans start uh, heading home. A 29 nothing LP over Rochelle. Back with uh, final thoughts after this on your home for Cavalier football, 103.9 FM, 12.20 AM, LaSalle, Peru, Ottawa. Switching is easy. We do it all the time. We switch on the lights. We switch TV channels. Some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, State Farm agent Jessica Strauch, right here in Peru, can switch you over so you can start saving today. Jessica and her team are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Jessica Strauch, it's easy to switch and save. This is Jessica Strauch. Give me a call. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You see how Hunter just rolls over for a belly rub? Come here, boy. Come to daddy. Hmm. I wish planning for a retirement was that easy. It is. Come with me to Hometown National Bank, and we'll show you your retirement options. A rollover IRA might be just what you're looking for. Apparently she's still around. That's a good thing. Just get in the car and follow her. Hometown National Bank, celebrating 140 years of helping the Illinois Valley with retirement options. Hometown National Bank, your bank for life. Member FDIC. An Illinois Valley tradition for sports continues on 1039 WLPO. Starved Rock News, Talk, and Classic Rock. Yeah, Rod and Tom will be back Monday morning. Until then, John Small will take you through with uh, news updates throughout the day, today and tomorrow, and keep you up to date on the weather and sports and everything that you need to know. I want to again thank everybody who took part in our uh, spring Savings radio auction this morning. You can drop by the station, oh, I think a little bit longer, not much, to pick up your certificates today. If not, you can go ahead and wait till regular business hours on Monday. I want to thank all our sponsors of LP Cavalier Football, LaSalle Body and Fender, Hometown National Bank, Eureka Savings Bank, Town and Country Services, Illinois Valley Credit Union. Also, uh, we have a Subway, Financial Plus Credit Union, St. Margaret's Health, Gergovich Family Chiropractic, Bill Walsh Automotive, and uh, also First State Bank. So, again, thank all our sponsors. I urge you to do business with sponsors of LP Cavalier Football. And, um, yeah, I mean, Brandon, I mean, I, I just everything went right. Special teams, offense, defense, everything was there. All, every facet of the football game today for the Cavaliers. Season opener, always great to get a W, and, and especially in front of the home fans. 29 nothing, uh, Cavaliers, one of the more impressive efforts in a while. When Rochelle's biggest highlight of the game is a kick return at the end of the game for right. maybe 15, 16, 20 yards, somewhere around there, that has to be a huge, leave a huge smile on the face of Jose Medina and everybody at LP Cavalier football program. That's the highlight of the, the game for the other team. If that it's not a touchdown. It's not an awesome interception right. or anything like that. Like that's the highlight. Yeah, and uh, Cavaliers uh, just uh, look like they had already looked like they were the team with a game already under their belt, as opposed to Rochelle here, winning 29 to nothing over the Hubs. Cavaliers will be back at it next Saturday at Plano. It'll be another afternoon game before the Cavs finish the year with three evening Friday night light games. After that, uh, Brandon, it was fun. We'll get back do it uh, two weeks from uh, a little less than two weeks. It'll be a Friday night game, and it'll be against Ottawa. Uh, obviously, always fun with LP in Ottawa. Thank you for joining me, and uh, uh, feel free. I know you got uh, a side project going on, a podcast. Talk about that while we have you on. Yeah, after I left the News Tribune, uh, decided to go different directions of what I was doing, and Love everybody at the News Tribune. Big shout out to them and everything that they're still doing. I see Kevin Klum, yeah. my former boss and colleague, and we're still friends. We still talk all the time. Yeah, you'll so be able to read Kevin's uh, recap of this on the News Tribune. Yep. So it's really good to see him, but I just wanted to go do something different, and I ended up starting a podcast called Edge of Your Seat Podcast. And I'm still kind of doing the same thing, but I'm also adding other interests, music, movies, and talking to athletes and coaches from this area and kind of extended Illinois area about anything things that were going on when COVID was going on how mm -hmm. that affected them school wise and just trying to get more of a life aspect of things that you can't really touch in a newspaper you know or a interview after a game real quickly just trying to get more life involved and things like that and I've had coaches and players from all over the area and it's been fantastic to be able to 
expand our relationship and hopefully the relationship between them and listeners of Edge of Your Seat Podcast. So it's been a lot of fun, and I've been happy to do it. And so uh, I guess for listeners out there, if you got an Android or iPhone, just go to your app store and search for Edge, Edge of Your Seat Podcast. Or even, I guess it wouldn't be the app store. It'd be under the uh, the podcast search. Yes, you can look under, I'm on Spotify, Edge of Your Seat Podcast, uh, iTunes, Apple Music, Edge of Your Seat Podcast. And there's also a website, which is rss.com backslash podcast backslash Edge of Your Seat. All right, very cool. That's awesome, uh, Brandon. And uh, great work as always. And, uh, man, we're rolling. We bring home a baseball championship with Hall. And then uh, LP plays just a heck of a game here today against Rochelle. So going to wrap it up. want to thank, again, all our sponsors. Thank all of the listeners out there and viewers. Go to StarveRock.media, and you can check out our YouTube page. Subscribe to our YouTube page, and uh, you'll be able to watch uh, all the football games going forward and listen to them as well. So I urge you to uh, become a subscriber, unlike many things. And just like Brandon, subscribe to his podcast. It's free. Subscribe to the WLPO Star Rock Media uh, YouTube page. It is free, and uh, that's kind of where things are going now these days with broadcasts with the video and audio, and it's an exciting times uh, in that regard. So 29 nothing LP with the win over the Rochelle Hubs, and uh, it wraps it up from here. It's time now to go home and kind of watch some March Madness and see if Loyola can uh, rally in the second half. So a uh, fun time here with the Cavaliers beating the Hubs 29 nothing.